Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are building Verde Beach Live. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. It might seem kind of out of the blue that I decided to stream today, and there's a couple of reasons for it. Uh, first, I've just been doing a lot of projects lately with the airports DLC, and you know, it, it's been a lot of fun, but I, I kind of want to do more. You know, some things that aren't just all 100% project based. I want to build the city. There are things that I've wanted to do that I just haven't been able to do. So I figure we could take some of the project stuff and handle that right here in stream. And you know, there's there's a number of, of, of small things that I want to take care of. Uh, first and foremost, you think you saw in the, in the thumbnail right here, uh, there are trees that we can upgrade and that's what I want to take care of today. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. I also want to chat with you guys, and I see a lot of folks in the chat that are, are very familiar. Uh, and first of all, I want to thank uh, Rogue Jackal for becoming an associate planner. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, or has, has been an associate planner for six months, and uh, I'm just seeing seeing the uh, the emoji there. Um, the other thing, I tried to put a chat overlay. It didn't work. <laughs> so I guess uh, that'll, that'll just kind of be what it is. Uh, so, yeah, I see... Uh, we've got Banana Man in here. Thank you so much for helping moderate. It means a lot to me. Uh, and uh, thoughts about affordable housing? We might get to that. We might, get, we might yeah, the Dave, Dave Chappelle controversy. <laughs> so, uh, Comrade's in here too. Overcharged Egg is also in here. Awesome. So many folks in here. Uh, we even have Jackson Anderson Brown in here. So, uh, taking, a, taking, a, taking a break from uh, Clearwater County to visit the, the beautiful and sunny Verde Beach. So, before we get into upgrading trees and naming and, and all those fun things, we've got some work to do over here that I really want to take care of. So let's go ahead. I'm going to change the time of day. And actually, I didn't get my settings right. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, Mike Lee, thanks so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, so there are some things over here. Interestingly, it looks like things disappeared. Uh, Mulligan International Airports thing disappeared. Interesting. Well, I don't mind that much because we're going to redo it. Part of that is we got some assets today that uh, I generally don't like to bring assets into this build unless someone makes assets specifically for this build. So I do need to look this up and see where it is. But we've got a special asset that was created for this and this is part of the problem not having find it <laughs> first i did fix the parking lots so we we had this parking lot before we're going to replace it with this parking lot we also have our verde beach signs that we did not add in here and then there is a asset we'll see if we find it if i don't find it i'll add it later on uh, i'm actually pretty okay with this not being right because i want it fixed uh, we're also going to change the zoning over here because right now we have planes that are just going to fly right into this. So lots and lots of fun things. So I think this is where we're going to start. Uh, I, I just wasn't thinking. Uh, and what I was doing here is thinking, well, the land uses make sense, but the heights don't. Truthfully, in airport zones, there's usually a cone where the runway would extend and it would probably go somewhere out to here, you know, where heights would be restricted. So we're okay across the water here. I decided that uh, having some skyscrapers made a ton of sense. That doesn't make sense. So what I'll do is just extend this over and we'll have, uh, we'll have this be an extension of this leisure district. Uh, so yeah, no more buildings in the flight path. <laughs> yep, they, oh, buildings in the flight path reminds me of San Diego, Dirk. Ah, I, I guess I've never flown into San Diego. Uh, t -Pez. Happy Saturday afternoon. I'm glad this time worked out. Ryan Studios. Uh, let's see. Suburban power lines. Oh, there? Yeah, lots, lots, lots going on in the chat. I will try to flip back and forth between getting stuff done. This is something that I'm really bad at. <laughs> chat is just like getting lost in chat and not getting anything done. So we'll do that. Let's see. We'll take these down. There we go. These will eventually all convert over. And then it's it's a little bit of a limitation in my mind that you can't have low-rise tourism buildings, but at least the leisure buildings make up for it. Ag, hello. How are you doing tonight? Uh, if you guys didn't check out the podcast that uh, Egg and I, or Egg, and I, Egg hosted me on uh, last weekend, you should definitely check it out. There's a 
a pin in the community tab. It's so much fun. <laughs> so uh, happy to have you here. And it must be really late for you, Egg. Must be really, yeah. So there we go. Um, next. So I know there were, were a lot of <laughs> thoughts about all of this parking. We're going to keep all the parking. I think it's important at an airport, at least in the U.S. Maybe that's not quite as common in Europe, but here uh, it's unfortunately very common to see a sea of parking around an airport. So let's go ahead. I will find those assets again. They're kind of hidden. Yeah, I'm going to find them. They're around here somewhere. Just general. Yeah, here they are. So the reason why I, I redid these is due to some comments that you left. And I thought they were really good. So basically, I'll have to move that one. The basic comment was that you couldn't get in here. There was no drive aisle. And that's a good one. And now with this, you would be able to drive in, park. There's accessible parking. Um, so just in general, it's a better lot. Now with this asset that I've created, if we take it tonight, we can see that there are some issues um, with the lighting. And the main reason for that is I didn't want lights overlapping. So I could certainly go in there and add a couple more at 3 a.m. egg. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I So I realized uh, early on after, I, get, uh, I think Banana Man posted the comment that this was an even worse time for Europeans than I normally have. And I apologize for that. Um, one of these days, I'm going to have a stream at like noon my time. So it works well for Europe. But I think this does work really well for Asia and it does work really well for the US. So, or at least my part of the US. So I, I apologize. Uh, Ryan Studios, thanks for joining us in Discord. So, yeah, so I, yeah, I, I definitely apologize for that. Uh, thank you for staying up till 3 a.m., Egg, and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you would like to see more CPP assets, Chris, gameplay? Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm truthfully not that good at it. So, <laughs> I'm, uh, I gave it a go, but um, really, it's when, when I made that demonstration, it was the very first time I ever created an asset, but I just felt like it was a really big omission from the airports to not have parking. And, you know, I would have loved to have a ramp, you know, but we didn't get that. So the next best thing is this. So, uh, hi Zion. Let's see. Ryan Studios, hi from Cleveland, the suburbs of Cleveland. Let's go ahead and get more parking in here. Just gonna pepper this whole area with parking. And I will again miss. So I'm excited because after we do a few of the things that we're doing here, particularly the transit stuff, that's, that's the kind of thing that I could dive into a whole episode about that. I, uh, I, I, I wanna move on to redeveloping some areas and I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, but I want to redevelop some areas or develop some areas that we've just been skipping. Uh, things have just been happening and it's been unfortunate. I wanted to, to get to some of these places. So uh, there we go. This parking is now in the right in the right direction. And let's see the chat again. Oh, July's in here. July was one of our beavers in uh, Timberborn. <laughs> so happy to see you in here, July. Volcano Island. Yeah, Volcano Island is something that that's one of the reasons I feel like so this area right here is an area that I've been meaning to develop forever and I just have not been able to get to it. Uh, the Oak Nature Reserve, another place that it factored prominently into the Goodall Institute and just haven't built it yet. So uh, this uh, the steam shop for the parking lot. Yeah, if you go back to the parking lot video uh, last night, I actually went through I was having some problems at the workshop. Uh, so I uploaded the saves for Verde Beach 70 for uh, Trattoria number 17 and the parking lot. So the parking lot I just placed is now in the workshop. I only made that one because since that video came out, there are a ton of parking lots that have flooded the Steam workshop. And I linked to some of my favorites that I found. So that is the, that's the approach I think makes the most sense. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Um, as far as mods, you guys are... You, know, you guys are curious what the mods that are in here. I Why don't I just show you? Uh, so I do have a number of mods. 
but most of them do nothing besides change the visual um, reality that we see. So 81 tiles is the one mod that actually changes the game. Uh, everything else is visual, so tree tree lod fix or load fix, uh, ultimate eye candy, adaptive prop visibility, things like that. Things that you know they're they're nice to have to clean up the visuals, but but nothing that uh, that changes the gameplay. Move it is out of here now. I figured out a way to actually get rid of it, and that is going back to the old uh, to the old uh, uh, unlimited tree mod that I had. Chris, hello from Stanley. Hello, it's good to, good to have you here. So, one of the things that I'm really excited about, so in this build, and I'm, I'm jumping around a little bit, I've done a lot of things like this, and ah, I think I'm seeing some of the issue. We might be missing, huh. So I have multiple accounts, and I think that this account must be missing a couple of the, uh, the DLC. So I'll have to add those back in later on, but not a, not a huge deal but it is a thing so if you see a couple of things that are a little bit off that's likely the reason why i'm streaming from a different account than i normally do uh so we've got people in here from northwest florida why don't you guys all drop in the comments where you're from i'm curious and uh what time is it where you're at so i see ohio i see northwest florida uh maple ridge uh maple ridge wisconsin uh medellin columbia let's see Ukraine, Ohio, Atlanta, Boston, Boston, Australia, Philly, Ontario, Texas, Baltimore, upstate New York. Wow. <laughs> no, I can't read it. Uh, London, Hawaii, Colorado, Dallas, Fort Worth, Leeds, Quebec, Evansville, Indiana. I have some family there. Uh, Sweden, New Jersey. Wow. La Minnesota all over the place. New York City, Salt Lake City. Awesome. New Zealand, so really all around the world. Naperville, Illinois, I could, I could drive to you in about two hours. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, uh, welcome everybody and uh, thank you. Oh, oh, I didn't even see this. <laughs> I guess we've had our first casualty and it is a, it's a Playa Rancho Viejo Park in Verde Hills. Whoops. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat, super chat, Steve. <laughs> Milwaukee, and it's beer time. It is beer time. So that's that's right. Whenever I do these streams, it's also beer with City Planner. And what I'm drinking tonight is a Capital Brewery Supper Club. So that is a, uh, a brewery right in my area, and uh, it's it's a great beer. It's a it's a lager. So Brazil, Sao Paulo, L.A., Edmonton all over the place that's awesome so all right so a couple of things are weird here that's okay we'll deal with it i'm not sure exactly what happened i was having lots of tr trouble with the saves so hopefully like i don't understand why some of these just kind of disappeared but that's fine we will uh we will deal with it one of the things that's really great well, i, I kind of want to handle this right now one of the ideas that was brought up to get the to get the lettering straight was to actually use some sort of park path to actually straighten up the, the letters. So I've never tried this. So you're gonna watch me struggle, <laughs> most likely. But the idea is that I could use angle then and then come along here and create the letters. Problem is, I don't know that I can get that tight enough. I wonder if a fence would actually work better. Yeah, a fence would probably work really well. No. <laughs> so it will not work any better, but that's okay. It, it, it's, it's fine. We will, uh, we will go freehand. Uh, so one of the observations also that was put, pointed out is that I just, I used a really small asset. It was difficult to see. Uh, Zahai, Zahan, thank you so much for the, uh, for the support. Reshare again that Steam Shop link. Uh, just uh, turn on PC. It's... Uh, I will try to drop that in at some point during the chat. It is uh, it is in that in that video link. Uh, Wallace Odom, thanks for being so upbeat and inspirational. You've helped shape my my uh, mind frame as an inspirational project manager. Thank you so much, Wallace. That that means a lot. I uh, you know I hope that that uh, anything uh, 
that's one of the fun things of being a creator and, and, and most gratifying things is being able to hear things like that that you just don't really I guess I never really imagined having an impact on people in that way so uh, VBB are you guys thinking that this should have a different a different uh, call symbol I, I heard some people say that you know MIA is actually Miami so maybe I should switch it to uh, you know MVO Mulligan Verde or M MVI <laughs> I don't know uh, oh stop asking about bus rapid transit working on it so it's a, it uh, that should be done in a couple years you like VBA that reminds me of that emulator for the uh, for the Game Boy <laughs> VBI MUL I'm uh, missing international airport <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna see what I get, what I see five for first. So if I see the same call letters five times, I am going to do that. VBI, I see VBI four times, MVB, see that a few times. VBI it is Verde Beach International on Mulligan Island. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna go well, but we'll give it a shot. VBI just all up and down, M U L M I A, <laughs> and then some things that I just shouldn't say. <laughs> so let's go ahead. We'll we'll try to get this going. And the one thing we are going to change is I do want to have some lighting here. That is something I missed, and I've already shaky handed. So there's the V. I don't know if that that's not very that's not great. Let me know if it's acceptable. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. If I had prop line tool, this would be probably still bad, but maybe less bad. Needs a logo in the flowers. Uh, we are gonna we are gonna put up some billboards after this. Uh, we actually need to do a, a ton of work at the inner at the uh, at the way in here. So here we go. I'm really focusing now, I'm trying to get to make sure I get this somewhat right. VBI is actually, uh, Canuck Aaron says VBI is actually an unused IATA code. So it's good. So this could actually be a real airport code. So I like that. Thank you so much for the support. Why not the Hollywood Styles letter sign? Mainly because of the assets. If someone made one specifically for this build and there is i have an asset in here i just don't know where it is um if i find it during the stream i will certainly add it in um my guess is it's a park asset so we'll, we'll see we have to go in there anyway so i will flip through quickly so what it is is it, and it actually has the wrong call letters now <laughs> so <laughs> we can just ignore that but it's an airplane that says uh mia underneath it it's really cool uh someone put that together and that's if there are very few things I will bring into Verde Beach. You, you put something together like that and it's coming in. So I will find that eventually and I will put it in. This is another one of those things. Uh, I'm going to put it down just so I can move it. Uh, but this billboard is one of those things that uh, we've had in this build for a long time. And I just I love this your place in the sun. We'll find a better spot for that uh, because this is really highlighting the problem here. We're going to take care of that after we finish this up. So what I want to do here is number one, a whole bunch of trees are missing now, which is really disappointing, but we're going to, we're going to add a bit to the top of the V. July. Let me, yeah, you're right. I think that's a little better. How's that? Egg, please add these billboards, eh? Yeah, go for it. I, I, in fact, if there are billboards from other cities that other creators have have uh, put together advertising their cities, please let me know because I want to get those in there in this build, or or in Clearwater County. So I got Pooch in here, got July in here, lots of Discord members for Terminus. Good to see you in here as well, JB. Good to see you. Uh, Batch is in here. Hi, Batch. Good to see you. 
lots and lots of Discord members, and Banana Man, of course. Egg, thank you, great. And if you have an, uh, 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 any, any signs for any of your builds, uh, you, you, got, you got me on Discord, shoot me a message. We can exchange. I'm excited about that. So one, one sign we need to get in here. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to uh, one of our moderators in the Discord server, Will CS. He is also a content creator. And I, uh, if, if this stream is sponsored by anybody, it's, it's Will. <laughs> just because uh, he's just, he's constantly been there pushing me to, 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 to do better. And I, and I appreciate that. Planner Duck, thank you so much for the support. Uh, can't stay as we are vacationing in San Diego, but I wanted to come in and show your support. Thank you for everything. Have fun tonight and hopefully no tsunami. Thank you so much and enjoy your vacation. Get out of here. <laughs> I do want to chat with you at some point though soon. We've uh, we, we're, we've been talking about some interesting things. Some very interesting things. So I want to give a huge shout out to my buddy, Will CS, who's a moderator. He is actually at this point, 17 subscribers away from 1000. So just, Check out his channel. I would highly recommend it. He's got an eye for detail that I don't, and uh, he's a great guy. So I, I, I just, I, the reason this channel is what it is is because I got a shout out, and uh, I, I want to do the exact same thing. So if you guys know of any great channels, let me know. Uh, feel free to, 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 to let me know, and uh, you never, never know. Maybe I will uh, give him a shout out in the community tab. But Will is is someone who definitely deserves more attention than he than he has. And uh, I'm curious, what are, we, what are we looking at right now? Look at this. We, we are five away from uh, Will actually being, there we go, he had a thousand, there we go. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I think he's gonna be really excited when he wakes up because unfortunately he wanted to be here, but uh, I am a genius and scheduled the stream at uh, 3.30 in the morning his time. So congratulations to Will. Hopefully in the morning and the replay, he gets to check this out. Because, uh, like I said, Will is now at a thousand, so that is awesome. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, Thano can't stay long, but how are, how am I? Thank you for asking. I am I'm very good. I'm I'm doing great. I got to hang out with my girls today. We've got these uh, these Mario Kart race cars, and uh, we built ramps and played in our basement. Jumped uh, jumped on the ramps. Had a good time. It's lots of fun. Any, any day where I get to just spend some time being a kid again, I mean, how can you not enjoy that? Yeah, so Will is in the Netherlands. That's why he uh, he is not here right now. Uh, how does it feel to be one of the most famous city planners on YouTube in the country? I don't think of it that way. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I try not to think about it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, 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 YouTube notoriety is a lot of fun. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's still bizarre to me. So, uh, everyone needs a sub to Will CS. 1K isn't large enough, comrade. I agree. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, yeah, Will is awesome. Again, highly recommend this channel. We need to fix this though. That I just kind of missed this. So, what I'm gonna do is just upgrade this and try to figure out. I think that's what I had. Yeah, there we go. So I want to add some lights here for a quick second. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to periodically check and see what is going on with uh, Will's channel. One, wow. You guys just keep going. <laughs> so there we go. He's got another 40 subs. That is amazing. You guys are awesome. Face reveal when, PogChamp, a uh, million subs. I don't think I'll get there, so. <laughs> that is that is uh that is when i will uh that's when i'll do it if i get to a million there we go let's see cityzilla cityzilla plays i really enjoy cityzilla's channel he's doing some really interesting things there are a lot of really great channels coming out lately and we've got uh you know old creators coming back it's it's a fun time uh to to be a part of this community there's a lot going on uh thoughts about robert moses <laughs> I had a rant about Robert Moses the other day to my wife. Uh, Five hundred dollar dono face reveal? No. <laughs> yeah, I, no, money's not gonna do it. I'll I'll do it when. Uh, not now. <laughs> Spiffing Brit isn't hurting for subscribers. Also, yeah, Spiffing Brit is awesome. Uh, just such a fun channel. Uh, working or getting to know him a little bit through the uh, the Red Bull competition was a ton of fun. 
So let's see what we're gonna put in here. I want to find some lighting. Let's. I wonder. None of these. So I. That's one of the the challenging things. Like I'm not sure how to even handle this in vanilla for lighting. I mean, I guess I could just put these in here and then try to space it appropriately. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just put it around? Uh, VTuber City Planner, I don't know what that means. Uh, you need Verde Air custom assets. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, any advice for people interested in urban planning? I would advise you to absolutely consider the field. And if you're interested in and not really sure if it's the right field for you, talk to a city planner in your city. They're very friendly. That was what I did. I reached out. Uh, I, I was at the time I was living in a city of ten thousand people. Not very big, small rural town, and uh, even with that, you know, they were more than welcome. They said, "Come on in, come sit down with me," and uh, we we chatted. Oh, eggs off. Yes, you do need to rest. <laughs> Have a good night, Egg. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, flags would look good. So, yeah, that that was how I got really well introduced to the field. And the, you know, the funny thing is, this lighting shows just how off the center of the eye is. I'm going to need to fix that. Um, so, yeah, go go talk with the city planner. Watch. Go to a, go to a plan commission meeting. You know, I mean, those are the sorts of things that can really give you a taste of, of what being a planner is actually like. Because I think that there's a misconception that, you know, I go to work every day and I lay down the plan on my desk and I look and I, I say, all right, a road's going here and some homes are going here and it happens. Um, and reasonably, what actually happens is every five years, uh, planners will, will get together with uh, a bunch of different stakeholders and we'll put together comprehensive plans for the city and those plans guide the development for 20 years but they're not static they do change and they can be influenced by development that could that, that is introduced to the area so uh it, it's it's just very different and a lot of what depending on the type of planner if you're a planner working for a city uh you very well might be focused on going to plan commission meetings and things of that nature as opposed to Working on comprehensive plans might be hiring that stuff out, so it just depends. Uh, do you, Ryan Studios ask if I like suburban sprawl or only skyscraper type CS cities? I prefer a well balanced city. Um, you know, obviously, it's a ton of fun to put together a downtown, and I think that planners are often guilty of being very downtown focused, and you know, that's a criticism that we get lobbed our way all the time. And I wouldn't, I'd be lying if I didn't say that in city skylines, those are some of my favorite places to create, particularly when you start to go into a lot of detail and really imagine the place being a, a living, breathing place. But I think that the places on the outskirts are just as important. Small towns that dot the landscape, also very important. So, uh, yeah. Frank Frank asks if politicians usually get in the way of my work plans. Um, no, uh, I mean, I, I guess let me put it this way. Planning is inherently a political thing. So I've, I've seen comments that say, you know, lay off the politics in your, in your, in your, in your discussions. And it's really impossible. I mean, and politics is people. So, you know, people are political, you know, it might, and it's not just, you know, the, the type of political issues that you hear about on the, on, you know, cable news or whatever there there are lots of political issues that you, you have to deal with so i wouldn't look at the politicians as the hindrance necessarily because they're setting the agenda and the politicians represent the people so if the politicians are representing the people and i am providing advice to them based on best practices i look at them more as you know teammates and, and people you collaborate with so it certainly is frustrating when you know their political winds change for instance and a project that maybe you've been really you know pouring a lot of time into ends up being foiled by a change of the political landscape 
but it is that's the reality of planning so it's 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 uh it's fine so let's see will let's see where will's at i'm, I'm curious again let's 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 do a refresh <laughs> one he's got wow that's another uh, another 80 there we're gonna we're gonna he's gonna be far beyond where he was at the at the start of the day which is awesome do developers get in your way absolutely <laughs> but uh here's the thing about developers without developers uh you don't get anything built i mean the city can't build everything itself so you know it's when a developer has plans and they own the land you know it stinks uh but it's you know you've got to work with them uh is nimbyism hurting the country yes um so I'm sure that you guys have seen some of the videos that have come out late, lately from City Beautiful, uh, talking about NIMBYism, same with, um, you know, not just bikes, Climate Town, excellent, excellent videos that have come out recently. And they really hit, hit the nail on the head. Uh, NIMBYism is really a great way to protect what you have and make sure that no one else can get involved. And really what you see a lot of the times are people, people preserving their ability to have kind of a suburban lifestyle in an urban area with urban amenities and a suburban lifestyle. And that doesn't work if you want to have a city that functions well. So it's, that's, that's where it really hurts a city. And that's the biggest problem with it. Um, it really slows down processes, you know, and uh, I think that the, the most profound thing it does is it makes everything more expensive because as developers are going through the processes uh, you know different city commissions redesigning things talking about you know glazing and fenestration and landscaping and all these different things that just kind of bog the process down every time they go back for a revision that is more money and after a while it can put the project into a place where it is no longer feasible or reasonable to, 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 to do that project. And I think many times that's where someone with that mindset hopes to end the project. And it's unfortunate because I've seen good projects, um, uh, good projects go bad, uh, and go south and disappear because of that mindset. Uh, Shay Ramsey says, wonder how you would have done planning out of my town. Where's your town, Shane? Curious. Uh, Brian Stark, thank you for becoming an associate planner. And uh, Sir Terminus, thanks for the ride, Phil. It's been a fun couple of years. Keep it up. We'll be here. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Now, let me see if... Uh, Shane, I'm curious. Oh, Larry Skylines is in here. You should leave in the uh, the VBI unfinished. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of funny. Uh, in the future, can you make suburbs in Tutoria? Uh eventually sure uh that is certainly once i get 81 tiles in which i'm not doing until all of the dlcs are in there we're not going to do anything with mods we're going to struggle with the constraints of the nine tiles until then because I, I really feel like right now tutorial has been very uh, accessible for a variety of people and i want to keep it that way as long as i can until it's not feasible anymore kind of opened that up in verde beach earlier than than Trattoria, and Trattoria is a tutorial, so I want to make sure that we, we keep that we keep that uh, alive there. So this is a problem. <laughs> this is this is terrible. We're gonna do something about it, and I'm probably gonna regret this. We're gonna see. I'm just gonna get rid of this. The problem here, someone pointed it out. Lane Mathematics one number two. There's just a lot of demand to go on this highway, and not very much capacity to leave. So we're gonna get rid of this. Make this a collector and then have a we're gonna have a two lane coming up here one lane going down we'll see if that works it uh it's gonna be interesting uh shane ramsey uh your town is uh, yamba in southwest australia you're in the coast at the moment around eight thousand res residents well thank you so much for the support again and uh, i will uh i will take a look at that town at some point let me i'm gonna pull it up at another tab Yamba South. Okay, I've got that pulled up a tab. I'm gonna take a look at that. I so instead of sharing my gameplay, I, I shared my screen this time so that I can pull up things like this and we can zoom in. I don't know if this is the uh, south. Yeah, I think this is the. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, can I do some public housing? Very difficult in vanilla. Uh, that's 
very very difficult uh, but thank you so much for the support uh may 5 vv <laughs> um so public housing the only way you can really do it here in vanilla would be to to basically put no services there which i think is really unfortunate so oh look at this this is going to be a mess so i wanted to be able to just sneak this in through here i was hoping that i'd be able to get in between these pillars but as you can see the pillars are very close so what we're gonna have to do oh i'm gonna regret this <laughs> i'm gonna deeply regret this we're gonna get rid of these oh oh this hurts because i i already see where this is going i think you all do as well uh, maybe i'll change the alignment here just slightly let's turn on just grid and Oh, we've got a node there. Or over here. I can make this one happen. So I'm gonna just try get this, sneak that in there. Now I do not know. Yeah, that's not. Uh, it, it might let me get the, get away with this. Oh no! Yes, yikes. <laughs> So the roundabout will require total reconstruction of this area. That is not going to happen. Not again. I can't do it again. <laughs> but but uh, we'll see. I'm going to just keep taking this further and further back and digging myself a hole. Yes. Phil, I'm glad. Or Philip, I'm glad you like this song. Yeah, I. Uh, I like this one too. It's a it's a it's a fun playlist. So I I did sneak in some of my old music into here so there's some lakey inspired don't use it as often as i used to uh, which is basically never anymore but uh, doesn't mean i still don't like it and this right here was uh fox marrow so all right let's see if i can uh, oh this is terrible i already see where this is going and i really don't like it so, okay so this is not going to line up perfectly, but I'm going to see if I can get it to work at all. Okay, that's off skew, but it's going to be, that'll work just fine. Now let's come through here and we will add our ramps. Uh, Shane Ramsey, you got the wrong Yamba, mate. Uh, very pretty spot on the coast. Yeah, you're right. I'm in the middle. Uh, Yamba, South Australia. South Wales. Let me see. I am failing at this. <laughs> okay. Okay, this probably looks a little more correct. And it looks like a place with, with, with people and, and, and roads and things. So, <laughs> yeah, that uh, let's, I'm curious. Let's take a look. What do we have here? Turn 3D on. Get rid of this. And I'm curious. I don't live on the coast, coast but I, I, I wish I did. <laughs> because you likely have views like, I'm guessing what you have right here. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, in terms of the planning here, uh, without, I mean, that's a question I get a lot. Like, what, what, what do I think of the planning in an area? And a lot of it is, you know, there's a story behind it. So it's hard to judge. I want to turn terrain on so that I can see that. So this is terrain. Looks fairly flat. Um, from what I can see, it looks like it's fairly logically laid out. Roundabouts here. Let's back in. I mean, it seems like the community is trying to maximize it's water resources. It looks like it would be a fairly walkable place, assuming they have sidewalks. Yeah, looks like there's sidewalks. Um, yeah, it looks, I mean, I would have to really dive into it, but it looks logically planned. Um, I, I appreciate that it looks like there are places where um, the natural environment has been preserved. I don't know if those are wetlands or if there's a bit of terrain there. It looks like here there's probably some wetlands because of the stream. Um, but that's always great to see. Called it sex, you know, almost eyebrows. I, mean, if, I don't love them, but you know, it, it makes sense sometimes, particularly when you're trying to 
make use of, of some of the some of the terrain here so uh let's see yeah very very nice community it looks like they're going to continue the growth down here and come up and kind of have the same development pattern so very interesting this is interesting this reminds me of arizona or florida or something where you get these geometric patterns <laughs> which are are unusual where i am but uh yeah very very nice very cool nice country club here as well Nice. All right, back to Verde Beach. Where would Verde Beach be? Uh, Verde Beach would be some mixture of California, Florida, and California. Uh, <laughs> Hawaii, sorry. All right, I'm going to really try my best not to botch this. We're going to find out just how good I am at this. So here we are. I'm going to get that good line. We'll line that up. Get this one here. I'm going to start from this road so I can control the angle. We'll pull that in and then reverse this around. And then I, I'm going to upgrade this right away because I don't think it's going to be a clean upgrade. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was what I was afraid of. Oh, another one. Oh, ugly. That's going to be going to be bad. All right. So we've got some work to do. That was what I was afraid of that. In particular, this right here, I might try to just no, I've got to fix it. I've got to fix it. So we're going to give that a go. And in spirit, hopefully this will be fine. Uh, Magnish, thank you so much for the support. Uh, Magnish is fine. Hey from North, North Carolina, would you prefer planning a big or small city? Uh, what are the intrinsic, intrinsic intrinsices of both? Uh, what would it take to make public transit more appealing in the U.S.? Uh, or and or a national EV network. Uh, lots of great questions there. I, you know, I've planned in both. And, you know, in a small community, you get to know a lot of people. And you become a really important face in that community. And there is something to be said for that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, as opposed to being, you know, it's, I guess it's the, the whole, you know, big fish in a small pond versus, you know, little fish in a big in a big pond so they both have their 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 pl uh, pluses and minuses i suppose um so I, I i don't know that i could necessarily say i prefer one over the other but i would recommend that if you are a planner give both a shot because you might find that you like one more than you, you thought you would um in terms of transit what we can do to make it more attractive that's the million dollar question that every planner's been trying to ask. And I think, answer, I think really what it is is making parking less attractive, uh, at which that's a really difficult thing <laughs> to convince politicians of uh, and the general public at large. So that's that's the main thing though. So that, that, that gets to the idea of you know, travel demand management. And with travel demand management, that is the most powerful tool in a planner's toolkit and that that is parking restrictions which everyone hates so that's why it's it's so difficult um and then evs you're gonna like if you're an ev fan you're probably gonna like what's happening right now in i guess legislation so i saw an email the other day that roughly five i want to say it was five Was it five or five billion dollars? I believe it was for a national EV um, national EV network. The idea was to to, to have a, a DC fast charging every. I want to say it was every fifty miles on the interstate, and I mean that's that's how this gets done. This is this doesn't get done with, you know, it get well, it gets done either with you know Shell or BP deciding that. Um, it's no longer good enough to, to just do gas things. They, they need to focus on EV charge infrastructure as well. Uh, or the, the federal government needs to step in. And that's what they're doing now. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. That's, that's what's going to take this. So let's... Oh. <laughs> We're so close here. And it's not going to work. Oh, and this is getting all sorts of ugly... I had it so pretty before, but 
I'm not going to spend nearly that much time. Let's see. Uncle Ray Ray, big fan of the content. Thank you so much. Uh, EV is a scam. Transfer all the, all the money from the poor to the well-off. I don't agree with that. Uh, I think that uh, automobiles in general were very cheap at one point. They're very expensive at one point for everybody. And uh, you, you have to improve the technology to be able to, to reduce the cost of it. And that's kind of where we're at right now. Improve the technology, reduce the cost. And then eventually, uh, my hope is that it ends up being cheaper for everybody uh, in the long run. So we're going up there. We've got a roller coaster. We're not going to do that. <laughs> so round two. So this is, uh, I know that sometimes you guys wonder why there are transitions and fades or montages. This is why. <laughs> because sometimes these projects are really putsy. But it's a, it, that's pretty much okay right there. Let's... Go ahead, fix this up. I, I bet you this is gonna solve the traffic problems here. All right, I'm gonna focus for just a second, get this directionality right. So the lane mathematics is not quite right here, but it's okay. I think that's fine. Yeah, I, I, I think this is gonna work well. So I'm gonna also take a look real quick at the junctions, because we got them all over the place. We need a junction here. We don't need one here, but we should have a stop sign there. And from that, we should be good. Now let's look at our traffic flow real quick and see how things have changed. Lots of backup, but this is okay. I think it's gonna improve. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to the chat and take a look. And more gas vehicles needed uh, at the current time maybe, but we, we need to transition. Uh, hydrogen fuel cells don't require mining. That's true. Uh, Philip Lombard loves his EV. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're they're. I think they're great vehicles. When you've driven an EV, it, it just kind of changes your your mind about them a little bit. I think. Uh, is this mostly modded? No, this is mostly vanilla. Um, Eighty-one tiles is in here though. Uh, Nightmaster, thank you so much for the support. Hi, CPP. What are your thoughts on some cities implementing anti-homeless designs and things like spikes and benches and poles? Is it ethical? I think it is a very, very gray area. Um, I understand having anti-homeless measures. I, I don't know that I've, I'd call it that necessarily. <laughs> but I do understand why you would uh, you'd, you'd want those sorts of measures. But you can't do that alone. Like, you need to be able to um, take care of the problem, too. And that that's what I think you see too often, is that cities are, are, are very willing to, um, you know, have, have those sorts of measures and then not take care of the problems that are causing the homelessness and sometimes people think it's only housing uh, a lot of times it's mental health uh, or kind of the cycle of poverty I, I remember when i was in los angeles um i actually i was at i think it was a bonds or something and i saw a gentleman sitting outside of it and it was i don't know maybe like eight in the evening and he looked hungry and i, I you know coming from wisconsin small town wisconsin i didn't really i'd never really seen a homeless person so I went in and I bought him a sandwich and I gave it to him and I just talked with him for a while about his situation and he explained basically that his it's very difficult like, like how do you leave poverty how do you leave homelessness once you're there every job requires an address and a phone number or an email address and if you don't have those sorts of things at your at your disposal you can miss the call for the job and many of the shelters require particularly males to leave during the day so it's 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 kind of a mess and you get stuck in this in this cycle so um i i I've thought about how would i if, if i were in that position how would i leave it i have no idea um so um i think that we need to be a little bit more thoughtful music's a little overpowering maybe it's just this song uh let me skip it i haven't really curated the music much tonight Let's see, maybe I could find one that I, I haven't heard in a while that I would like to, to hear. That one's old. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I play? Yes. So here we go. It's still backing up. And uh, there... 
I'm not 100% sure yet. This is kind of where you gotta diagnose what is going on here. There's heavy traffic flow, there's backup, and to me, this is probably not long enough. When we take a look through here, I'm curious. And they're all crossing through this lane. Oh no, I see the problem. So they're not able to use both lanes, and that is a vanilla issue, which stinks. So I don't know that there's going to be much I can do to improve that, which is awful. So, huh. The only thing I could think of that I might be able to do would be to upgrade this to a three lane in each direction. Yeah, that gives me both lanes. So now <laughs> we have this clipping through there, which is another thing. But at least, ideally, they could queue up in both lanes. And that seems to be helping a little bit. At least now you get a little bit of that backup. I don't like what I'm doing right here, but this is kind of me trying to, to make it make it work. Or do a biffa. If I do a biffa here, it's not going to work. There's too much traffic coming in here. Uh, in our freight policy, someone very astutely pointed out that it doesn't work in the highways. So the freight is still going to come through here. There's nothing really that I can do to change that short of making this a less attractive route. And I actually thought about having some ramps here to get over here. And I'm very reluctant to do that now. So that I think that that could be very, very bad. Double decker roundabout would solve it. Maybe. So I did that all for nothing. No, I think it's, I think it is more likely to, to maintain it. This traffic flow than previously. Uh, the other thing that we could look at, now that we have this here, we could have a, we might just wanna, yeah, I guess maybe by doing a biff argument, adding, uh, increasing the lanes out here generally, because now we get a double left and a double right right here. And that could be beneficial. We'll see how that works. Uh, I am gonna upgrade these though. Well, actually, we'll do grassy strip here. Uh, let's see, Wallace Odom, Charleston, South Carolina is seriously considering retrofitting a metro into a historic downtown district through its newest development. Thoughts? Uh, without the details, I wouldn't want to render a judgment, but in general, uh, you know, the idea of trying to retrofit in transit into an area like that is absolutely awesome because there are a lot of places that will just give up and say, it's historic, we can't do it. And as long as you respect the, the history of the area and don't go through uh, like a like a you know, like a bull in a china shop, just knocking taking out buildings, and instead you, you respect the history of the area, I, I see no problem with that. I think it's a great thing. Um, off ramps, on ramps, east northwest. Am I missing something? I don't see it. It looks, it looks good to me. Let me see. Let's make sure I didn't... I'm not interpreting that comment wrong. I think that the, the directionality is correct. Um, Andrew. Oh, I love seeing Andrew here. Uh, it's the end of the expressway. Don't worry about it backing up. That's a good point. It doesn't... As long as things aren't getting totally wild here, I'm not I'm not concerned. Um, but I do want to make sure that our trees all make sense here, and then I'm going to leave this area because I really want to take a look at some transit. Obviously, there are some things that I need to fix in this area. A lot of stuff disappeared. Not sure why. Very strange. Yeah, it, it's along here as well. I'm curious if this is going to be a problem out here because of the 81 tile mod. Um, I'm going to look out here. Seems like most of the, the airport's fine back here. I didn't really add any landscaping. Just a couple of trees. <laughs> Even though the couple I added, there's a couple that are missing. That's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot that. That's, that's, that's very, very strange. Let's see. Maybe separate the inbound and outflow traffic to different intersections. I thought about that. Joy Build Cities. Good to see you here, Joy. Joy is another creator. Uh, she is doing some really excellent things. She has the, uh, the she has a, a 5B1C type series going on. Uh, Joy, could you could you put that a link to your channel in the comments? 
I would, I would appreciate that anyway. <laughs> and check her out. She's doing a lot of really fun things as well. Uh, Patrick, KCPP, uh, mornings. Uh, let's see. I worked at the Department of Defense grant program, which counties money for. It. Yeah. Could you fit that as well? So I, I, I that is a really interesting idea. So I, I, what I think, I think that there's more that I, I need to add to the military base. I've taken a look at the comments. I often do this uh, where I will take a look at uh, the comments and not re reply until the evening. Just a little bit. I want to make sure that I, I have time to, to, to really think about the comments a little bit more. So, um, and some things like that have been added. So I appreciate that. I will take a look and likely add more to that area. I think one of the confusing things about the entire build for, for most people is I wanted to build a not just an Air National Guard, but I also wanted, you know, just a general National Guard. And one of the things I would have loved to have would have been some state offices. Um, you know, uh, Department of Veterans Affairs, for instance, I think would have been a great thing to add there. Um, um, even the a hospital could be added in that area, and I didn't add anything like that just yet. And part of that is I just couldn't find the assets. So... Batch and Poochie are chatting. <laughs> An Aussie man. Ryan says, what if you remade Cleveland Hopkins International Airport? I think I'm going to take a step back from the airports. <laughs> Wait, Will just hit? Okay, hold on. Let's see what Will hit. 1.1. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Will, that's going to be a really fun surprise for him. So I, I appreciate you all supporting him. Uh, and check out his videos. They're really awesome. He's doing some great things. I'd play them, but then this this whole stream would get copy struck and shut down. So we'll, we won't do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. So yeah, that's that's something fun to take a, take a look at. Okay, get joy to one thousand two. I agree. But with all of these channels, it's not just about having subs. It's about actually watching the content and enjoying it. So I would I would highly recommend check out the videos, see if you like them, and uh, you know. Give the support because having a having a bunch of subs and and uh, no one watching that's not that's not great. There's a lot of channels out there that have a million subs and they post a video and 500 people watch. It's it's wild. <laughs> so, uh, how do you prevent a city from that disjointed and unnatural feel? I think it's layering and trying to have a story and transition. Um, you know, for for instance, well, let's take a step away from the airport. You can see that there is a node of density. Now, man, granted, we're missing a, a tower. <laughs> I don't know where that went. But you see a transition from this... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, a transition from this area down, and we're controlling the height. Um, and So we have higher density, but we go into this lower density, and then we transition down to our lower density. Uh, so our single-family homes. And a lot of times what I see people doing that is, is kind of, you know, unfortunate is they will have just kind of a ton of towers all over the place and then like two blocks of single family homes around it. So, uh, Joy Jow BR, idea heavy traffic ban at the collector near the museum. Huh. That's an interesting thought. That is a really interesting thought. I'm going to do that. Let's... We'll just, why don't we just do this? Just extend this out. That is a really good idea. Thank you so much for that idea. Thank you for the support. Uh, Jason, never played this game before, going through tutorial videos and learning a lot. When it's on sale again, you're picking up, it goes on sale all of the time. So absolutely check it out. If you want to play it today, um, what I would recommend is go pick up uh, Microsoft, uh, or Xbox Game Pass, you can you can often find a deal where it's like a buck for a month, and it's on there. You could play it on the PC and you know give it a shot. It's it's a lot of fun. So let's see. How's this looking? I'll speed it up, and I can tell that the that there was the taxiway issue that was well documented. The Federation, one of the moderators in in the Discord, put it on there. Uh, the, put put a put a fix on there, and then the the update was released. One of the things that that fix did is 
repair the AI because you'd go to three times speed and this, everything would just slow down. It's really weird. Um, we're going to see what this does. I'm very curious. I'm speeding it up. I can finally do that again, which is great. <laughs> you know, our traffic flow is fine. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay with 84, 85. I just like to keep it above 80. Um, and really that's to keep the traffic engineers off, off my back. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to have to have lots of solutions for, uh, things that aren't that bad. Heavy traffic will take back the road. Yeah. The moment, the moment that you increase the capacity, you're going to induce demand. Now, I don't think that'd be the case here. You could do a bunch of wild stuff here. And no one's going to try to, it's not, no, no one's going to go. I wasn't going to go to the airport because there's too much traffic, but now I've decided that it looks attractive and I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's a little different here, but other places in the city, absolutely. If you were to uh, increase the roadway capacity, it's just going to fill up. Uh, Skater of War, love this build. I plan council and you have shown what's possible with the base game. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much. And yeah, the cemetery was full. Yeah, I've got a bunch of those. And I used to absolutely hate that. Zardis has somewhat converted me. In 5B1C, he left a whole bunch of cemeteries uh, full for the, oh, for the sake of them being full. And I'll show you why in just a second. Let's fix this up first. All right, so when we come in and take a look at this asset, you can see that there are tombstones and you know, it's operational. So if we were to go in here and place a brand new one, so let's go into here and place a new cemetery. It's empty. So from an aesthetic standpoint, that is why you can, why you might want to keep it full. Um, I just really despise <laughs> that whatever this is, it looks like garbage, like an apple sticking out of a box blinking at you i just i just cannot stand it but uh yeah oh wilson here the man of the hour shane ramsey just wondering if you uh if you can have an airport without road connections and if you ever connected everything by mass transit i have not but i i do i don't know if i want to give this away <laughs> you know i, I have a, a video that i'm gonna to put together I watched a very old Imperator video. By very old, I mean like four years. And uh, he did a joke video that I want to make a serious video out of. Because it, 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 there's a question in my mind. How sustainable can you actually make a city? Do you need other cities? So we've got Will CS in here. And I want, I want to just acknowledge how early it is for him. <laughs> I started this stream at like 3.30 in the morning. So it's like 4.30 for him right now. That is absolutely wild. So Will, 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 good to see you. And uh, congratulations on one. Well, let's see where, let's see where Will's at. You guys don't need to see my, I'm, uh, I'm clearly getting ready to, uh, to slow cook some pot roast. So let's see. We will go to Will's channel and let's see. Wow, 1.11. And let's let's check this out. Can't see that. Not not yet, but but it's it's uh, it's been a, it's been a very good day for you, Will. So hopefully hopefully uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Congratulations, Will. Uh, the Bearded Guardian. Good evening. And yeah, I'm I'm happy to be live again. I'm also very pleased that the whole city hasn't burned down and that uh, you know things haven't gone completely crazy. Yeah, after this stream is done. I'm going to happen to Discord for a little while, and then I'm going to make a pot roast. <laughs> that's that's the excitement of my life. I actually went to the grocery store before this to get some cream of mushroom soup to throw in with my pork butt. And I'm going to slow cook it for 12 hours in my crock pot. And then I'm going to drop some off with uh, some folks that also appreciate pork butt. <laughs> so let's see. Monty, thank you so much for the support. How much RAM do you burn through for a city skyline session? I do. I push the limits. I do not. Uh, so Clearwater County, I want to say it's 42 gigs. Um, this is uh, 28 maybe. So I wish that I had my, my monitor mod in here. 
because I could show you that right away, but I do have 60, oh, <laughs> I do have 64, maybe we should just appreciate this underneath a, a nice night sky, watching the uh, Verde Peach Fire, fire uh, Department doing their thing. So, yeah, I, I do not, uh, I don't burn through all of it. Uh, things run pretty well. The one thing about my build that I wish uh, I would have done differently, at the time I was looking at graphics cards and I got really lucky. I got one of them in the Best Buy drops that used to be available to the public and now are behind a $200 paywall. <laughs> so I, uh, I picked up a 3060 uh, Ti Founders Edition and uh, I wish I would have done something a little better because if there's any bottleneck in my system, that is it. And that is because I do things like recording. I hit, I'll, I'll max out my graphics card. There have been more than a couple of episodes that I've, I've filmed where I've um, maxed out my graphics card and as a result ended up uh, completely losing the recording. Uh, Tutoria, interestingly, is the one that it's happened on a couple of times. So it's been, it's been really disappointing to have that happen, so. Let's see, how romantic. Yeah, this is our Valentine's Day Verde Beach uh, <laughs> fire where we can roast marshmallows and just enjoy the sights, a, a look at the ocean. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Where else can you have that kind of framing with a beautiful fire? <laughs> Shane, uh, Verde Beach, flaming great place to live. Just watch out for all the barbecues. <laughs> uh, let's see. JL, I could try to get you a 3080 Founders Edition. I watch drops normally. Yeah, if, that would be awesome. But I don't think I deserve any special treatment. I, you know, I will. I've been doing the same thing. I'm on Hot Stock. I was on the drop yesterday. I lost out. Uh, I did have an EVGA uh, 3060. They have these DIY. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they have a. Uh, they have these drops where it's a DIY configurator. I'd probably need a new uh, uh, a new power supply anyway, so that and um, some other. <laughs> Jeez. Well, this this is exciting. <laughs> yes, Myrtle is is with us tonight. Um, so anyway, the other thing I noticed about the graphics cards is that I don't necessarily have a lot of space in my case. So I do have both the uh, the, uh, the the build from Apex and the one that I built myself. That one's a little bit bigger, but I think that I would even need to get a bigger case for a 3080 because it's just the NZXTs are really limited. So I'd either need to replace my AIO or, or yeah something. It's just kind of a mess, but that's my limitation at this point. Everything else, RAM, it's great. And look at this, the fire's almost done almost we're almost good now what's not so good here uh get rid of that myrtle district that's the problem uh if we got rid of the myrtle district we're in a lot of trouble uh what if city wall city lock and city planner plays work in a city together uh that would be a lot of fun be interesting let's see the pot roast you're talking what is the pot roast uh i have i want to say it's 12 pounds of pork shoulder butt which uh, I'm gonna put in a, in a slow cooker and my wife will probably yell at me for getting one that's way too big that I'm like, kind of slamming down on to try to make it work. <laughs> but we'll do it. Rams or bangles? Oh, I'm gonna be divisive and I'm gonna say the bangles. Uh, to me, I could never root for Matt Stafford. So even though I lived in LA, Matt Stafford, it's just, he's, he's, he's the Lions. He is the Lions. I don't care. Uh, so Bengals all day, every day. And I like an underdog story. And that that is the underdog story. Wow. That is ugly now. When this is cleaned up, I really, I want to come through here at some point and redo the landscaping because we've got all of these old school trees. We'll do a little bit right now. Let's, let's make this feel a little bit better. I want to see, are these too big? Let's go through. They're really tall. What do you guys think? Too big? What should we do? Should we do the... This is the California fan palm. We've got the generic date palm. And then we've also got this coconut tree. Uh, I want to see in the comments, which one should I which one should I go for? Looks like we have some Saints fans in here. Too big, too tall, too big, too tall. Looks nice. Shots fired. Yeah, after this, I, I want to I see who everyone's rooting for in the Super Bowl. 
But first, coconut, California palm. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Date palm. I don't really see an overwhelming response either way. I see kind of a mix. Fan big. Thoughts on Brady retiring. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for the rest of the league. Even at super old. He's very good. Super old for a football player. I I, I, should, I should preface that back because I keep hearing that, that people are super old and I look and it's like they're my age or younger and that <laughs> it's really disappointing. Some of each. Yeah, I think we're going to... I I'm going to go... I like the look of, of, of these date palms. I think we're going to go up and down here with date palms and then maybe inside the palm park we'll do something a little bit different. But this is going to liven it up. And, uh, you know, they're not going to be able to see them at all when they're burnt, but... <laughs> We've got plenty of places in the city to decorate, so that's not a problem. Uh, do a Cali Palm. I, you know, one of the... Th Ooh, you know what I like the idea of? Right here along the ocean. Why don't we add those here? Now that, to me, looks good. Just... These are such great assets. I mean, look at the difference. Being able to do this in vanilla, having these palm trees that match the build as opposed to whatever these are. With these little tiny... I don't even know what those are. Right here? Is that what they, uh, maybe these are alders? I don't know. Either way, they just didn't really fit the builds very well. And you just had to look past it. Whoops. Didn't like that. <laughs> Felt very much like home. Although we wouldn't put them on the, on the water like that. So, there we go. Yeah, California Palm along the coast. Looks great. Thank you. Yeah, I, think this is, I think this is a good look. I, I like this. So I would have really loved to put these on Sunset. And if I, if the, the monorail wasn't there, I think that, oh, Lee Street, what are you doing there? So that's a carryover from uh, all the power. So the other thing that we probably should do at some point is figure out a new home for this. That was one of the most common things to see uh, in the in the comments from that video. The, the most recent one is that just doesn't fit. And I agree. So let's see, do the new trees increase land value? I don't think so. Let's see. I'll speed this up. Uh, they, they shouldn't, put it that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's really doing anything. So let's see, Brian. Thank you so, <laughs> so much for being an associate planner. Uh, I wonder, did I did I forget this out? Or has this been gone for a while? I'm very curious. Let's see. So I could have just dropped it out at some point and now I have to add it back in. Let's go through. So this is from the, the this asset was from the Pearls of the East. Yeah, it's, it's totally missing from my build right now. So I believe that I just dropped it out of here and that is likely the problem. I'll have to add it back in. Hopefully not a hopefully not a not a big big deal adding it back in. We'll see. Uh, Cali Palms. Yeah, we're going to keep adding these. I'm going to go all the way along the coast and then I've got an idea for all of this too. We're going to fix these up. So I'm going to leave this little area cuz we're going to need to I'll let you guys I want to know about this. Am I watching bobsledding? I actually, I watched figure skating tonight. My wife is very much into figure skating. So we watched the couples. I missed the spot. What did I miss? Did I miss the spot? This I'm, I'm, I'm purposely missing this for now. We're going to, we're going to give this area some care. Um, but yeah, so I watched that tonight. The, the couples figure skating and I watched uh, Nathan Chen's uh, routine, which you know, I'm not a big figure skating guy. <laughs> missed some, missed couple. Go further east. Okay. Uh, where did I miss? Where did I miss? Uh, oh. Well, I've got these. I'll get these. Might as well. Where did I miss? Ah, oh, right here. There they are. Did I miss any other ones? 
think I don't think so. Hopefully, hopefully we're good now. Um, for the right, for the right, far right side of the road. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it's there yes haha you took long enough olympic censorship <laughs> all right yeah so yeah i i, I uh nathan chen's routine was absolutely outstanding one of the coolest things i've seen in the olympics and uh it's a lot of fun so all right that's kind of where we end this and now if we want to extend our palm trees out We've got to do some work and the work that we're going to do I just want to slowly get rid of all of these trees that we planted here and we're going to replace this path we'll upgrade the path and add trees to the path and i think it's going to have a really nice effect here so this is i never imagined that we'd be able to do this you know when this area was created just to think about it a little bit the content creator pack for the train stations wasn't a thing Oh, and I deleted some things. Uh, it was impossible to uh, to have different key walls. So those are, we've got those now. So these are all things that I need to go back into the build and redevelop some of this stuff. And I'm really excited to do that. Like, now this is the old key wall. I could, I could upgrade this and fix it and make it so much. Oh, oh okay, never mind. <laughs> I started to, I saw this little bar and, and kind of had a panic attack for a second thinking I saw it up top. Um, let's see. Verde Beach is California because of all the burning all the time. Lots of places burn all the time, unfortunately, these days. Uh, or they flood. We flood here. Let's see. Tree line paths with the new trees. That's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to go through here. And we will actually, easiest place to find them is right here. Go through, we'll upgrade these. It's probably gonna stop me in a few spots. That that's pretty normal. In fact, I know of one spot for the because of the thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm actually feeling pretty grateful that it, this is the spot. Uh, that it, it didn't do more. So we'll throw our road guidelines on. We have our angle. Easy fix. No problem. So let's get these updated and, and should we go with the California palm again or should we go with something else? Yes, I love these upgraded palms. So let's see, we'll, we'll add a couple. We'll just see what you're thinking. So I think the coconut is basically all that we haven't added at this point. And tall one, date, it is over. Coconut, 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 coconut. Yes, I like that. Well, yeah, we'll go with the coconut this time. That's that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. And it gives a little bit of variety. I mean, you don't see one type of tree planted everywhere. California palm, coconut. Uh, I think coconut is the overwhelming winner. Let's go ahead and get these all upgraded. Look at that. This. Uh, this makes the city feel absolutely new in my mind. We've got other places like this that we need to need to go through because that's the thing. Mr. Mason's assets look just outstanding as opposed to the original ones which looked fine when they were by themselves, but now they just don't blend at all. They look terrible next to one another. So, oh, missed two. <laughs> Where did I miss? Oh, missed him. There they are. That's what I get for going too fast. Let's go through here. Let's clean it up. We can actually upgrade this road. Yeah, I'll upgrade this road. And I can add a parking asset over here and that will solve. I think I left this like this because of parking. And we can solve that now. So let's go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. And this kind of work, in my opinion, is what really makes your cities feel like places. So let's do this right here, and then we'll go into parks, and we'll grab one of our new parking lots. That looks absolutely horrendous. <laughs> so let's see if I can clean that up at all with let us. I'll use the curved road tool or the uh, the slope terrain tool rather. Come up and try to slope this back. 
going to be very difficult for this to actually work. And maybe I just need to pull it out a little bit first. It's a lot better. There we go. And I should add some sort of some sort of path in here as well. Wide sidewalk. We'll, we'll just we'll call that a wide sidewalk. And in here, I am going to put the California palms. Actually, before we do that, let's add a fence. And uh, city planner place. Should you be worried about the disaster incoming? <laughs> yeah, there very well could be one coming. Lumpy and bumpy. Yeah, we got we we definitely had some lumpies and bumpies, and I'm hoping that that good enough we're gonna add a fence around there and then add a little bit of landscaping so the fencing is something that uh, I really thank egg for his attention to fencing because I think before egg I did not pay enough attention to it and uh, since egg I feel like it's something I pay a little bit more attention to so I'm just mixing up the palms a little bit more here so we've got some California we've got our coconuts we have this thing right there <laughs> we'll get rid of that and then the last thing that we'll do is come through here and upgrade the palms right there there we go how much better does that look that is amazing egg would use a fence there straight through like separating these do you think a uh, few candies rising up few candies great just i cannot believe use video quality at at the place that uh, this early in her uh her youtube career it's it's absolutely wild uh so let's see yeah we'll, we'll uh we'll give this a little bit more egg treatment and come through here with just a little bit more and i think it's going to really liven the place up a bit and we will continue to mix up our trees really have a lot in here look at that so this this to me feels a lot better looks amazing music is a little bit much i think it's this song uh, so this is actually a song that i used to use a lot and basically stopped and that is because of how loud it is let's see ah yeah. <laughs> 2160 2160 uh, Verity Beach is coming in on its in-game uh, 150th anniversary. Will I do anything special for the uh, 150th anniversary? I should. Um, huh. That's an interesting idea. Do you guys have any ideas? Because I would certainly... I would be open to any of them. Very, very excited for that. 30-year anniversary of the tsunami. Don't say that. <laughs> Just looking out to the water. Do you see anything? Nothing. We're good. We're good. We've got those, we've got the tsunami uh, buoys too, so. If it's gonna be angry that I killed the rock, absolutely. And that rock deserved it, so. <laughs> we'll take it away. Could upgrade around here, might hold off. This whole area, you know, all of the new landscaping and key walls, this is a hundred year old park. We need to do something about this. And that's gonna be something we do soon, soon. Shouldn't have rebuilt this. I should have just left it after the tsunami. Because <laughs> uh, we had an opportunity. The floating cruise ships are concerning. Yeah. <laughs> so that is because I do not have Daylight Classic on. Uh, and the main reason for that is I like the effect when I switch the time of day. My favorite, I guess, time of day in City Skylines is this. So you get that, you get some lights and a little bit of a little bit of sunshine left before you before you get to night and you get this glow this pink glow it's probably my favorite time of the day so yeah and let me see i'm gonna go back to the music because i'm again just not loving this what i think is i lost my music time yeah don't know where it went <laughs> So I guess we'll have to all enjoy it, whatever it's playing. Here we go. It's some Dylan sets. All right. Uh, fireworks at the tallest tower. Uh, what happened to the hot air balloons? Are they gone? I think they're right here. What this is? 
Ah, here's the hot air balloon tour. So we still have them. They're right here. In fact, we could uh, we could do a quick hot air balloon tour for a while while I look at the comments. Transit vehicles next. Yes, 4 a.m. in Ireland. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming here. Thank you so much. Hello from St. Louis. Uh, what mod is it that I use to control the day and night cycle? That is ultimate level of detail. Uh, or, yeah, I believe that's what it is. No, 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 no. That is... Let me pop into here. That is ultimate eye candy that lets me do that. So. Uh, I'm a beginner at City Skylines. I just wanted to say thank you. Your beginner series made it much easier to start out. Literally, the Bob, the Boss Ross of City Skylines. Thank you so much, Solar Tweaks. Uh, Ryan Studios, uh, can we get a Tsunami Memorial Park? So I actually used the uh, the assets that I should have used for that at the War Memorial. So I'll need to think about that. That is that is a request. It's it's on my radar. Hello from Taiwan. Hello. Uh, Vancouver, BC, on my list of places I want to visit. Uh, Albuquerque. I got a friend in Albuquerque. Hello. Uh, let's see. Upgrade your music. Oh, I, I like my music. <laughs> um, MK, would love to see more taxi stands at popular destinations and transit centers. Ah, that is a great idea. Thank you so much for the support, MK. And you're from Cincinnati. Thank you. Hello from Racine. Hello, Nate. Uh, go pack, go and dip here. We're gonna get back one day. Yeah, I hope so. El Paso, Phoenix, Rockford. Now that is a place that's close. Uh, Phoenix, Philippines, Uruguay, UK, Auburn, Alabama, uh, Wisconsin, Texas. Awesome. All right, let's look at some transit. I think that it's it's about time. Uh, I'm obviously not going to do 100% of everything in the stream. Holy cow. We've got some ridership. So we want to take a look at this. At any place where the vehicles are overloaded, I want to look at some of the new content creator pack vehicles and upgrade those routes. So I just want to go, actually, before, why don't we get smart about this? So we'll support them by, um, we'll sort them by the passengers because the, the routes that had the most passengers are most likely to be overcrowded. So we'll come over here and there's 80 here, 200. And we've got already, you know, 225% buses. We have yeah, this is, so this is probably a mismatch in terms of the transit. But I do think that if we just go through here and upgrade the vehicle, it's going to help. Uh, truthfully, higher capacity transit would be really helpful. Now what's unfortunate is it doesn't tell me the capacity of these vehicles. So let's see, I've got bendy buses, <laughs> super bendy bus, double decker, mini bus, articulated, double decker. Uh, do you guys know the capacities? I could, uh, I'll click on them and I'll see what it kicks out. And in the meantime, we'll just really have a lot <laughs> of, of these uh, passengers queuing up here. Come on, we get, we get a vehicle on the route, just one. Oh, this is brutal. We're even going at three times speed. And I saw this yesterday too. I, I played around for the thumbnail and the only way I was able to fix it was by placing a new bus barn. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's see. First of all, let's see if there's a good spot for it. Is there any place that has relatively low density? I, mean, I think our other bus barn is over here. How many vehicles are out? 55. Huh. Yeah, these are these are difficult uses to, to cite. Oftentimes what you'll see is that these are, are relocating in old industrial buildings. They they're kind of well located and easy to retrofit into those, and we've got to come on over here. So this is a biofuel one, and I wonder if that's part of the problem. That was supposed to be fixed in the update. I'm gonna just We'll get rid of that. And rather than trying to put another one of these here, we'll just throw in a normal bus depot and see if that solves all of our problems. And let's see what comes out here. Gonna get an articulated. 
Well, no. <laughs> Delete the biofuel bus depots, throw on regular ones. Yep, yeah, we'll do this one. And maybe, you know what? Truthfully, I'm gonna get rid of this one too. It's fine. We're gonna switch a lot of these routes over. So let's let's go for it. I agree, that makes some sense. And I need to move this. This is, this is the height of realism right here as we relocate things to, to suit our needs and uh, ignore the lumpies and the bumpies with a little bit of dust, dusk to, to make this feel like it's not so bad. Uh, delete the desk. Zest response unit might have space for a bus depot. Ah, oh, yeah, it might, it might. Yeah, it, it should. So if this doesn't work, I'll add one out here. This is gonna be a little city services campus anyway, and we can put some, I don't wanna call them undesirable uses, but less desirable uses to, to be next to back here along the railroad tracks. Um, although near the station here, we're gonna want some residential uses. I don't know if we can connect up to the back of this one. I would assume that we can like the other train stations. And if that is the case, this is a very desirable area as is probably reflected in the <laughs> low land value right next to it, but it should be. Should be okay. All right, so let's pop back in here as I get distracted by my own uh, yammerings. Still nothing going on. Let's, let's crank it. 55 buses. Are we going to do it now? <laughs> all right, maybe I just do need... First of all, I'm impatient, which is a problem. That backup is just, it's brutal. I'm going to add another one of these over here. I'll give a little bit of space. I don't want to disrupt that road. We're going to have some landscaping in here. And the roadway network's going to be a little wonky through here. Uh, DJ, good to see you here. Uh, delete more biofuel. Yeah, I wonder where, where the rest of these are. So we replaced that one. I don't believe... Yeah, we didn't put any back there. Uh, let's see. I don't, maybe this is half our problem. Uh, maybe I just haven't placed enough of these over time because I'm just not really seeing many. So this is serving, I guess, is this? Here's one and that one's, this one's biofuel, but that I can't really fit one here. So yeah, I think this is my own problem, uh, one that I've created. I just have not placed enough of these down. So let's pop over here. This is another area. So we are, we'll give Myrtle this. <laughs> <laughs> which we're going to probably pay for. Uh, but this makes some sense. We're right next to this transfer facility. Uh, the land values here are relatively low. And the access to the highway is good so that if we needed to get these far across the city, lots of deadhead, but we have these spread out. Generally, there aren't. They have the great biofuel purge. Yes, we're going with gas now. <laughs> we are going back to the future to make this all happen, apparently. And let's pop through here. Are there any more? Uh, yeah, I think even over here. Wow. I just totally forgot to place these. And that's why it's good to have you guys here helping me out. Let's see. Oh, DJ, he writes the Chronicle that uh, is on the Discord server. So if you want to keep up, with what's happening uh, in uh, in the builds. Really excellent writing. Not something that uh, I would have ever anticipated someone in the community doing, and I, I absolutely adore it. So thank you so much, DJ, for doing that. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna place this somewhere over here. So we have access to this bridge over here and serve this area, or the other place that's probably better is over here. So this is the I-10 Industrial Park. And we've got some empty space over here now. Yeah, this is good. Because, well, we don't have great freeway access here anymore. But it'll serve this area well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that what that does. Let's go back here and, oh, what is going on with traffic? We're breaking down now. And I bet it's that bus route. No? Let's see. This is still okay. I don't know where... Okay, let's... We've got to figure this out because this is going to drive me crazy. Is it our buses? Okay, we're popping back up. So it's, yeah, our buses. We had 8,000 per week in resident trips before this all started. 
this route, 55 vehicles. We're going now. It's working. <laughs> well, this will certainly clear out the queue uh, right here, having 55 vehicles all right next to each other. That'll do the trick. Let's see. Surprisingly, I'm not seeing a ton of bunching. That's what I would expect. We're going to get that fixed. That's way too many. I'm hoping that we can take it down from the 225% we were at before down to something a little bit more reasonable. So let's, we'll try 150 and then we'll move on to another route. Hopefully it won't take me a hundred years to fix all these routes because I get distracted. <laughs> Little things here and there. So let's see. And it's a hundred, actually what I wanted to do is I wanted to start to figure out the number of uh, passengers on each of these vehicles. So we used the super bendy bus and that was a hundred passengers per bus. So for this government line, so this route, I believe this goes from the Harbor District all the way to our Verde Beach Government Center and meanders through Kings Hills, Foggy Square, Pearl Hills. And we've got a stop right here that is full of backup. Most of the other stops look pretty good. There's a couple that are a little heavy and we again have this crazy crazy increase in the number of buses. So let's try a... So I like the airport buses, but they just, that's not what we're doing. So let's just try a bendy bus here. We'll see what those look like. And I'm curious, as we wait here, we'll see what, we got one vehicle already, 70. So 70 for the bendy bus, the super bendy is 100. Uh, 20 for the short bus. <laughs> So let's see, who we got? We have got so many familiar faces in here. Uh, our tick is 50, double is 60. All right. Uh, Jefferson, CPP is my safe space in the evenings. Thank you, thank you for the support. That means a lot to me. And uh, I'm happy that you uh, spend your evenings with me. Uh, sim single double decker bus, what is that? We'll, we'll have to check that out. Let's do that for our next route. We will, we'll leave this, this is way too much capacity now. We'll take this down again to 150. That'll be our starting point for all these, if we can. All right, so the next one, sort of by passengers again. So uh, right here, let's see how this route's looking. It's keeping up. That 100 capacity, like what a great addition to the game. What a great addition, because this is what we needed. Park entrance is destroyed, uh-oh. Park entrance. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. Which one? Right here. Here we go. Rebuild. We're good. Oh, no, we're not good. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had that fire. So I can't time lapse this. So you'll just have to watch me do this in real time. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we'll move on to our next one. And the next one we're going to do is the double decker. We'll see how that works out. It seems like I'm going to be able to save a lot of money on the transit system, though, because similar to real life, the most expensive part of a transit system is not the vehicle, it's the driver. Uh, generally, if it is public transit, they are required to be unionized. They're required to have the ability to be unionized, and most of them are as a result. So um, good family supporting jobs, but they're very expensive, the bus drivers. So. Uh, CJ still got four hours of sleep. <laughs> Let's see. Will, just after 5 a.m., you're very tired, but you are here. Thank you for being here. Fire, 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 says Larry. Yes. <laughs> Trees, buses, and repairs, and winning sports matches of some sort. And I'm going to take a break. I realized I opened up my supper club, and I've had one sip of it. So I'm going to have a quick sip. And if anyone else is, is here having a beer, too, have one with me. Uh, but I'm going to thank Andrew first. First time catching a stream. Your content is very relaxing to watch. I love it. Thank you so much. And thank you for the support, Andrew. It means a lot to me. So I hope you can't hear me drinking this, but that's what, that's what I'm going to do for a second. How is police and fire coverage? Um, yeah, there are spots. <laughs> This whole university area has always been bad. 
and it will always be bad unless I front this on roads, which I refuse to do. Uh, in terms of police coverage, the crime rate here is really low. We're pretty good. Pretty good there. This, uh, the, over here, I guess this, the pyrotechnic has a, a, a crime problem. I guess maybe the university administrator stealing money, embezzling or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then for health, I think we're, yeah, I think we're pretty good health wise as well. Yeah. This is basically utopia at this point. <laughs> Let's see. Richard, no beer. I'm enjoying an inebriant with you. Oh, Richard, what are you having? Let me know. Uh, Kyle, just Kyle, long time lurker, first time catching a stream or catching one of your live streams. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. You do some really cool stuff. Thank you so much, Kyle. I appreciate that. And I appreciate the support. Brett says, I just finished my LSTAT. Great way to wind down with my first stream of yours. Cheers, mate. Uh, thank you so much. And good luck on the LSAT. I obviously didn't take that one, but I did take the GRE. Very, very stressful building up to it. And then that that relief of finishing it and uh, waiting for the result. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully everything went really well for you. Uh, let's see. As a university professor, that checks out. <laughs> Let's see, vodka straight out of the bottle. Uh, drunk live stream. Oh, I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> My education coverage, how is that? Uh, very good for elementary, high school. We're on the border, university. Obviously great there. Library is pretty bad. <laughs> we, that is one of those things that I've just not kept up with. I also, I feel personally that they, 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 there needs to be one of two things smaller library assets or uh the library needs to have a bigger coverage radius and right now it's like the worst of all worlds <laughs> so uh let's see how long have i been building verde beach since december 2020 uh, drunk verde beach uh when is a six-year-old streaming when it's not past her bedtime <laughs> Uh, yeah, my my, my six-year-old. There's, so there's a there's an unofficial Minecraft server in uh, uh, the, the, in the Discord server, and I know that that is one thing. Uh, she so I not only do I have Pooch asking about it when I'm gonna get in there, and I, I want to get in there soon, but my daughter, biggest Minecraft fan I know, uh, and I mean played all day today. She wants to get in there, but it is the Java version. And she's only played on an Xbox and on the Windows version on the PC. So I've got to go ahead and get either a mod to get the controller to work or I've got to get her comfortable with Java before we do that. So, yeah. So, Pooch, thank you for keeping me honest. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Minecraft is fun. It is. I, I'm not very good at it. I'm pretty terrible, but uh, it's fun. Uh, real life librarian here. The CS asset is huge. The size of a state or uh, university library in real life. Absolutely. I live not too far from a library and it's in a mixed use building. It's, uh, you know, it's small, but that small library has a ton of space when you go in there. So let's see. Java controls are hard. I agree. I, I, when I do play, I generally like to play with my daughter and I use the controller, so maybe that's not the maybe that's not the the uh, the the preferred way for most people to play. But I'm old. <laughs> that's that's all, that's all. I'll do it. Check my fishing. My fishing. What do you think? It's fine. <laughs> let's let's take a look. I think my routes are terrible. Um, so that's one thing that I know that people have said is that my routes are just not efficient. I don't even really, let's let's see. So my guess is they're loading up way early. I think these boats get loaded way too quickly. And then uh, the routes look silly. So I like making them longer. In the next tutorial, I am gonna point out that you know, the routes should be a lot shorter if you want them to be maximally effective. And, if, and you know, because this route is already full, it's coming back. Obviously, if you want the most efficient fishing industry ever, that's not going to work. But I'm okay with a little bit of inefficiency 
for the sake of uh, aesthetics and, and, in my mind, realism. So let's go ahead. We'll get back to this. And it looks like our, our, our everyone's coming back to our buses. We're still good on our first route, our second route. We are looking... We're looking good. 30 at a bus stop is, is pretty okay. And now we get to our next route, which is Parkside. And we've got a gazillion buses there and no backup. So this is an ideal spot to try our double-decker bus. So this is gonna be fun. Let's see. I'm gonna take the number of vehicles down. I'm gonna take this to 100. I don't think we need to do more than that. So this is 60. So we've got 60 here. Let's take a look. What a cool looking asset. City transport looks like we're in London. Yeah, I, I love that. That is awesome. So I'm curious, this out of all the routes that I'm not sure about, I think that this <laughs> mind swept efficiency. <laughs> I like that. Uh, match be granny. <laughs> what? I missed something. <laughs> If, if Batch is a granny, then I am like a great-grandfather. So, <laughs> I guess it also makes me wise beyond my years. So, yes, double-decker buses make their debut. And let's see. Let's Why don't we just, why don't we mix it up? Let's, let's have some fun with this. Historical Verde Beach. This is the clockwise. So, let's see. I'm, I want to be able to see these routes a little better. So, let's... Turn all the routes off. We'll sort by passengers. And of course, now they're all different. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where was it? Sort by name. Historical. Clockwise. Here we go. Turn that one on. I just want to have a better feel for where these are. I'm going to turn off the other modes of transit as well. Particularly this and this and this. What is going on right here? It's not the helicopter. Ah, right here. Tram. All right. So now we've got our bus route. Let's see what this is doing. So it's a real short loop. All right. And we, we have this one cranked too to keep it. Yeah, this is way overkill. So I wonder. Let's just try our mini bus. I don't know what this looks like. If we're gonna throw 11 buses at this start, 20 passengers. I'm curious, can we make it work? This would be absolutely silly in, in reality because it's not like we're saving that much. Uh, <laughs> match behold. <laughs> mini bus, let's see. So we've got seven mini buses on this route. Are we gonna kill this route? Or are we gonna make it, oh. <laughs> This is not gonna be good. We're probably gonna need to change this one, but I am, I just wanna see what it looks like. Are they all queuing up back here? So let's take a look at the minibus. Let's slow this down. Oh, they're, those are, ah, they're cute. <laughs> they're very cute, very small. They look like, they almost look like vans or like a party bus. Uh, Awkward Dinosaur finally jo uh, joined late, but finally caught up playing at double speed. Thank you for catching up, Awkward Dinosaur. School bus. We should have some school routes. I, the th thing is, I've mentioned this on multiple occasions. I just, I wish that if you selected a school bus, it actually was a school route, uh, school route and not a route that, you know, a uh, random guy who wants to go work downtown can hop on the bus with the kids. It's kind of weird. So... <laughs> Church buses. Yeah, it is kind of like a church bus. Oh, we got so many vehicles that we could change. But this is just so cool. So there we go with our mini buses. Let's see what that did to the route. <laughs> because as much as I like the aesthetics of them. What is going on? Oh, these are coming from a long ways away. So are we just now getting to the stop? So that's the, that's the problem. I mean, there's they're all queuing up. This, this might be enough. For this route, I would I would suspect we probably need 125 or something like that. We'll get one more bus, actually 150 because of the capacity. We're gonna come back to this one, so we'll remember historical district clockwise, and let's look at the counterclockwise variant of this route and see what that's doing. 
So historical district, other way. And I'll open this up. We're, we're going to probably, yeah, it's the same sort of thing. So we'll do a mini bus again. And we'll keep it here. It's a 10 on each. Hopefully that does the trick. And I'm curious, where are these mini buses coming from? Okay, right here at our new bus depot. So that was an excellent call to whoever, or all of the people who recommended that. Because clearly we needed this bus depot here to be able to, uh, to spawn some of these new assets. Even though I think that's supposed to be fixed. Maybe it's not, I don't know. And those uh, mini buses, not efficient, but for appearances, yes. <laughs> I like the way they look. I think they look cool. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna do a couple of things there. I wonder. So here we have a crematorium, and you know we're downtown. We're gonna have a luxury hearse at this one. This is one of those. Oh, there they are. There we are. Let's take a look. Well, that's fancy. When I go out, I'm going out in style. In one of these luxury hearses. <laughs> Batch. Phil, for the record, you're not a granny. You're 32 until March, and your kids are too young to give you grandkids. Also loving this stream tonight. You are just about my age, so... <laughs> I am not a grandfather either, and my kids are too young to have kids. So, just throwing that out there. And uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, she's lying. <laughs> Uh, so here we go. We've got that. Very nice. But there are so many more vehicles that we customize. Are there trains? I'm not sure if ah, there are. I believe there are trains in this. So I've just got to see a route. How about here? Nothing. We can't do anything with monorail. That makes sense. Here. Oh, what am I saying? Yes, of course there are trains. So we'll go to line details, vehicles. Bullet trains, <laughs> high speed trains. So these, we don't really need to do much. The space line, you know what? I'd really love to go fast if I were going that far away. So we're gonna, we're gonna, add, we're gonna make this. Which one should we do? Should we do the bullet train, the commuter train, high speed rail? I think that we, you know, CPP, you look like you're 22. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I, th I think that's one of the uh, the benefits of, of being uh, biracial. Nobody can nobody can guess my age. <laughs> uh, high speed, high speed, bullet train, bullet, 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 beaver train, <laughs> bullet train, bullet train, fastest, biggest bullets, probably the fastest, the biggest. So why don't we go with that? This let's see, this one right here, Airport Express. I believe that we changed that too. An airport express right here the passenger train this let's see train line three what an excellent description we need to fix that <laughs> what is train line three so we'll pop into here go into our trains oh this is terrible so it looks like i gave up at one point on naming and coloring the lines so let's give this some thought. We need to be better about this. So one of the mods I would add to the build as far as visual is there's a mod that you, it's UI scaling and this is just too big. It doesn't scale. I'm, this is this screen that you're looking at right now is 4K. Um, I'm only streaming at half of that, but I can't, I can't, like it's still gigantic overlays. Oh well. So here we go. This one goes to the Lewis Market District. We are gonna make this Lewis Market, and we will make this one. We'll make this, what should we do for this one? I'm thinking commuter train here. And then we'll reserve our high speed train going to Myrtle. Uh, keep in mind that faster trains will stack up if they don't have their own tracks because they will be slowed down by other trains until they're not bunched up together. That is an excellent point, uh, the taxer. Thank you, yeah, that is, ooh. We're gonna need to see. All right, we're going to do commuter here. That makes a ton of sense. We are going to make this one green because it's the garden district. And let's see. We'll pop over to this one. Where does this route go? We we do not have very much utilization of our trains. I mean, this is really sad. I'm wondering what the deal is with these. 
Do we have stacking somewhere in our commuter train network? That's the only reason I could think of that we would see that kind of utilization. Oh, no, it looks... How about over here? Was bad over here? No. Everything looks absolutely spectacular and still... How about over here? We're moving. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, this game was incapable of using express tracks properly. Yeah. Paths equals less traffic. Yes. Uh, you should change the campus bus line to a yellow color for more realism. Maybe. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of funny things happening in, in, in the chat. Uh, and I, I want to thank Banana Man for, for holding down the moderation. It means a lot, because I, I cannot moderate this as, as uh, this is going on, because there's just a lot going on. So uh, I, I thank 99% of you for being respectful and, and keeping it easy for Banana Man, and I thank Banana Man for uh, helping to moderate this. It means a lot. Back to this. Let's take a look. So interestingly, the space line, we're seeing some ridership jump up a little bit. Track three, this is the one that goes to, it's in the club to, uh, we're just gonna make this the fitty line. Because at this point, he's a real legend. He's like Mozart. And we will make this, this is another commuter train. And what color would represent the city set? Uh, how about a nice silver? That that works. And then train line four. Why so many banana mans? <laughs> Are there many banana mans in here? Two, I believe. <laughs> so banana man, banana mod, frag proof as well. Thank you for being in here. So let's see. All right. Now, train line four. Where is this one going? This one. So train line four is, I think that's the new one going to our new district. Let's change the color just so I can see it. Am I missing? Maybe it's not. Where is this one at? I, I wish that I could see a little bit more of the screen. Let's... Ah, here it is. So this is going to Plaza Rancho Viejo. So this is just... Wait, this is a silly route. So maybe this is part of the problem. So we've got this route. It's skipping Central Station and it's popping over here. What is Train Line 6 doing? Six. So we're going to change this route. So I, I mean, this should go down town, if anywhere. So we'll take this and move it. Because I don't understand why I would have done this. <laughs> Which I think is the kind of thing that happens after you have been doing this for so long in the same city. So let's... Add this here. I don't think that we have another route coming in there. Maybe we do? Let's let's turn on all these to see. Ah, uh, we've got two lines coming in there. Wonder, can I move this one over? Uh, this is the closest that we've ever been. That is beautiful. I like that. Look at that that's gonna be good so all right let's go back and we'll take a look at these routes now because they make more sense so uh you let's see sars 103rd on will cs's server very cool uh let's see all right let's let's do this uh let's see i joked about a, a face reveal at 1 million no i'm not joking i'll do it then <laughs> No face reveal, please. You like the mystery, huh, Vegabon? All right, banana route. <laughs> yeah, 
You know what? I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Well, do make it the banana line. We'll keep it consistent. And for this one right here, this is the one that goes out to... You know what? No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta fix that. We gotta fix that. So this, this will be the banana. Because we're gonna make this banana heights. There we go. So there we go. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, are there any CS creators anywhere near one million? I don't think so. <laughs> so I set the I set the bar really high. Uh, let's see. Uh, gotta love the banana. Uh, yeah, the banana route does have to be yellow. So we gotta rename the other route. That that one is no good. So which is which now? This is... Alright. Hold on. That was the, That's the problem with... Okay, so this one is... Not... This is the imposter. So we'll make this Verde Hills. Or... There we go. Let's separate this. And we will make this one yellow. And for the banana line, let's make this a high, it'll make that commuter as well. And this, I think we can actually leave this one to be a normal train. It's so close that it shouldn't be a problem. Although maybe I'm thinking about it all wrong. We have a normal train and it's too slow to actually capture ridership. We have two of the same color lines. Uh, so maybe I need to be thinking about the commuter train just everywhere except for the couple places where it's a little bit further we have our our our, our faster trips uh will says uh biffa is the biggest creator i, I believe so too uh oh lord y'all done confused man <laughs> too many bananas high speed for banana should we give banana high speed oh man you guys are you guys are making work for banana Happy birthday, John. Banana equals high speed, live chat. I'm a great grandfather. Oh, very cool. I, I appreciate you being here. All right, let's do it. High speed rail for the banana line. And let's check this out. We need to see what this looks like. So here we go. Here is our banana line. And hopefully someday we get enough passengers for this to make sense. Because this 300 passengers, I don't know that we're ever going to see that. But I'm hopeful that we'll get more than 20. <laughs> uh, do I follow the Geneva Convention? Uh, not really. Um, looking fancy. I agree, Banana. Uh, why do so many trains at, uh, on the airport line and not so much ridership? I have no idea. To me, it seems like the airport line should have more ridership. It might be that the Metro is cannibalizing the ridership and we need to do a better job of separating those and, and making the routes, uh, making them be a little less competitive and a little bit more, uh, a, a different purpose for each, each of the routes. Uh, Aiden Carwash, do I think Godzilla is responsible for the fires? I think we'd see Godzilla, but maybe. Maybe it's like a mini Godzilla that's hiding in the trees, lighting them a fire. <laughs> uh, is it bad city planning if your neighborhood is five miles from the nearest grocery store? Uh, well, it's interesting. Has your neighborhood ever been near a grocery store? Because here's here's a, a secret of grocery store um, grocery store location. If a grocery store has ever failed in the location, they will never put another grocery store there. So. That's a question of mine uh, when, it, when you hear that is, uh, you so I sound different live? I'm drinking beer, that's why. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if a, if, a, if a grocery store is ever located in that location and failed, it'll, there'll never be one that comes back. And they're gonna look at a radius around there and go, it's probably gonna fail in those areas too. So yeah, not, not good. High speed rail seems to be sliding out the rails and curves. <laughs> Uh, just wondering how long is the consultation process on a city project? Oh, it depends on the project. If it's a small project, it can be just, you know, 20 minutes. If it's a huge project, it can be years. 
Uh, DJ, happy birthday, City Planner Place. You are the winner of the bit. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, my birthday is in a couple days. So thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for remembering. Uh, change the commuter line. You know, I think that we could. I'm not overly concerned. I, I like the variety. Uh, truthfully, in reality, it'd probably be all the same kind all the way through. It's fine. Uh, Edward, the tracks have to be upgraded to high speed tracks. Otherwise, they don't. Oh! Biffa's New Zealand is proper high speed rail. Yeah, we might need to do something like that. I'd love to take the space line and make that a proper high speed rail line. So I don't know that in vanilla we have the ability to do that because we just have our normal tracks. And I'm wondering if the speed limit is on these tracks. That's something that we can't really see here. Thank you so much, Pedro and Will and uh, JL. I appreciate that. Banana Night line needs to split. <laughs> I see what she did there. Oh, I never asked. So, who does everyone have in the big game tomorrow? Is it are you a Bengals or Rams? High speed rail viaduct. Could do that. There really aren't very many conflicts through here at this point. We've taken most of them out. The bigger problem is that there's just a lot of bending in these. Bengals, Rams, Packers. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. So it seems like there's a trend. The trend is either nobody or Bengals. <laughs> So, to me, that means the Rams are going to win, which stinks. Halftime performer will be the winner. I agree. I hope we have something as, as, as great as the weekend's performance. I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, Joe Burr. <laughs> yeah, you pick the Bengals, Shane, but you most likely won't watch. I will probably watch the halftime show and I will be, I'll watch the rest, kind of. I'll be there. But I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not gonna be as invested in it as I would otherwise. Uh, if it's not the CFL, you do. You don't really care. Uh, Canuck Aaron, that makes sense. Freight train backup. Oh yeah, we do have some freight train backup. How are we doing with our traffic now? Still hovering around 84. We're fine. Uh, let's look at more of our bus routes. I want to take a look at our mini buses because that is something that is a concern. How are they holding up? Bad. <laughs> really bad. That didn't work. It's unfortunate. I could crank this through the roof. It's not going to work. Um, so uh, show a top view. First time here in a bit. I will. Uh, so we've got our mini buses and it's this stop right here, which is right by the university. You can see there's the good old cons uh, institute. This will forever be backed up. So we're gonna need to change this, unfortunately. It's not gonna work. So we can still do something fun though. And what I think we'll do is we will have our double decker bus here as well. Give that a shot. That will be interesting. And I'm looking at these buses as a tourism attraction in and of themselves. You know, in reality, in most other cities, if this were Madison, you know, we're not going to have uh, 50 different kinds of buses. That is more things that you need, more, more parts, more uh, uh, technical ability from the maintenance folks. But uh, we'll do it here. We'll say that it's it's part of the part of the tourism charm of this of this community. So let's look at our other minibus route. We'll have to reserve the minibus for some really short routes. This could, the minibuses would actually make a great shuttle. So that is what we'll do with them. Let's see here on this one, same, same deal. So we'll swap this out. Double decker should be good. Uh, has the stream been on for an hour and eight minutes? It certainly has, it has. Now, actually, it's been on for two hours and 16 minutes. I didn't even realize. <laughs> so I will uh, probably do a few more things and then maybe hop off and go on the Discord for a little while. 
Uh, why does LA have such bad traffic? Um, there's a lot of complicated reasons why LA has such bad traffic. The car culture, the lack of adequate transit for many years, uh, the sprawl of the city, the natural geography that, that bisects it, making uh, traffic funnel onto the 405 and, you know, um, a variety of other little passes. Lots of reasons why LA traffic is bad. Uh, Shane Ramsey, uh, 2161 in Verde Beach. We need to start Fleet Academy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for the support. Let's see. We'll see us. Grizzlies fan. Yes, John ja Morant is awesome. He's on my fantasy team. I play fantasy basketball. Uh, YouTube app on the TV doesn't have an update on start time until you back out and re-enter re the stream. Interesting. More trams, maybe? Maybe. Uh, another thing I haven't added. Oh, oh. Another thing I haven't added into this build yet, and we're going to add over here, most likely. So maybe I'll give a little bit away about what we're going to do over here. So this is probably three, four episodes away. But we are going to bring back Maggie Myrtle. Uh, and please keep this to the stream. If someone wants to know this information, let them come to the stream. <laughs> well, Maggie Myrtle, the reason why she wants all of this to be developed is so that she could afford some better land. And we're going to build something really interesting over here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's another reason why, you know, some of this transit stuff that, uh, you know, I want to do it. I want to make sure that we're not backing up on our transit. And right now we're okay. Um, I don't want to focus on that entirely. <laughs> so I want to move on to some of these other things, these stories that we were working on that I've been, I haven't really talked about them at all. Oh, my thoughts on the workshop drama. My thoughts are, I don't want to be involved. <laughs> and that it's really a shame that that has happened. Uh, I'll come back to that in just a second. Wesley, thank you so much for your support. Do you prefer larger builds like Verde Beach and Bluffside or more spread out homier like Clearwater County? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Truthfully, uh, I've, I've really enjoyed Clearwater County because I really love starting cities in this game. And I feel like Clearwater County gives me the opportunity to start a new city every seven, eight builds. And that's just a lot of fun. And you get to really think about why a city is the way it is, build a downtown, and, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's special. But then again, this has just been so much fun to build. When I started this build, I didn't really know what to expect. I just thought, you know what? I don't want to struggle with mods. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything that, you know. That, that's the thing. Like Clearwater County. Uh, every now and then I'll boot it up, and there's just a problem because a mod is updated, and I don't have any of those issues with this. Now. I did have issues clearly out here with where I, you know, I had to change the routing and it's still not great. Uh, but that's, 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 that's tiny. That's, that's small potatoes. I'm not worried about that. It's a lot better than uh, having a hundred mod issues. So if, if the real, I mean, that, that's probably the bigger thing. Is it, do I prefer playing mostly vanilla or mostly modded? It depends on the day of the week. Um, but in terms of city size, I, I like doing both. So let's see, rival downtown, maybe. Don't forget to change the metro lines too. Ooh, that is a good point. Thank you, Banana, for reminding me. Let's go check it though. Check those out. Uh, there's a tram. Are there any new tram vehicles? I don't think there are. Yeah, you can't change the tram vehicle. Uh, so for metro, let's see. Interesting. So some of these already changed, looks like. Right here, the airport, I guess I just chose that one. So let's sort these, It's I probably only need to change the most popular ones, like the airport high, uh, Hamilton, which is already high capacity Metro. I do not recall doing that, <laughs> but apparently I did, and it, it is overkill at this point. So let's take this down. All right. Aaron, I've been watching your content since May and I have loved your content, dude. Question, have you ever visited Canada? Do you have a favorite Canadian city? I have not. Um, it is on, it's the next international place I want to go. And I want to go to Victoria. That is, 
uh, the place I really <laughs> want to go. July Overkill is the best kill. Um, uh, there, um, uh, Vancouver. So anywhere near me is probably going to feel a lot like home. And I've only been to the Pacific Northwest a couple of times. Uh, once to work on a project for Sound Transit. And that was, yeah, not, I think that was about it. I got to go to a, a Pike's Place Market when it was closed <laughs> and uh, go to McCormick and Schmick. And that was about it. Uh, I've been to Victoria a bunch. Is Victoria great? No, you want to go to the Netherlands? I do. I want to get to Europe as well. Uh, the original Uncle Gus, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, if you stay in Victoria downtown, my little brother works at Swan's Hotel. That's awesome. Uh, don't come now. We're a bit righty at the moment. Yeah. I'm nervous that <laughs> those are going to spread to here. It's, it seems like it's going international. I was watching the, the nightly news and I saw that it's happening in France now too. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it looks interesting. Uh, so Aaron, I, 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 what if, if, if I go to Canada, what part would you recommend that I go to? Victoria just jumped out to me because I, uh, I watched a documentary about it being the very first, the place with the very first Chinatown in North America. And the gentleman who helped found it is still alive, which is just wild to me to think that, um, you know, the city basically said, make it happen. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Toronto, even though it kind of sucks. I'm going to Toronto in the summer then. Favorite rural town? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I, I think anyone's favorite rural town is the town that they are from, if they're from a rural area. Although there are some really nice ones. Um, i trying to think. Rural towns. I mean, I don't want to give it away, but yeah, my hometown. I, I like my hometown a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. Victoria and the West Coast, Vancouver Island. Yeah, so Vancouver Island, I think that's where uh, Imperial Jedi is now. Toledo, Ohio. Please come back to Colorado and fix Colorado Springs. Ooh, when I was in Colorado, I uh, I was I was north of there. <laughs> the further south I went, I worked at a project in Parker, and that was about as far south as I ever got in terms of projects. So let's get back in, and I want to take a look again at the metro. So <laughs> let's see. I turned this down, and now there are fewer passengers. It's fine. That'll, that'll normalize over time. Uh, here, we have a normal metro. And we've just cranked it to make it work. So we can go with, oh, look at all these options. All right. So we have underground train, subway train, S-Bahn train. I want to know what this is. So we're going to take this down. 204. Okay. We'll just take this to 100. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, let's see what else we have. Truthfully, those are our big ones. So the conservation line. These are all the lines that meet up at... Uh, right at the university that are always broken. So interestingly, we were carrying so many... But we have so many uh, vehicles on here that they're fine. I'm going to switch this up. Let's try the subway train. I want to know how many are on here. The capacity of this is. And let's see. 400. That is wild. Yeah, we can go with 100% now. And I think that'll probably do do the trick. That's much closer to, uh, to real life. Uh, you live in Parker. That's sick. Yeah, I like the downtown there. So... <laughs> Interesting, Zudi, when I when I talk about underpasses, one of the things that always comes to mind for me is that underpass underneath Parker Road as the exact example of an underpass that you wouldn't want to uh, to emulate. Because there's they, they, they play like Mozart or Beethoven through there. It floods. Uh, there's a jog in it. It's just it's really 
really an uncomfortable place to be. And I remember walking through there with some of the elected officials and, you know, pointing out just how not fun it was. Uh, DJ, Aussie man is Australian, obviously. <laughs> yes. Uh, so thank you so much for the support, DJ. Always, thank you for all of the support. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Ozzy Man false, I'm Austrian. <laughs> uh, please, please, please play Anno. I've thought about it. I actually picked up uh, uh, Transport Fever 2 recently. Been playing around with that just a little bit, not a lot. But I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. This is, apparently this is fine. Wait, this is overkill. I could probably have one of these subway trains just pinging back and forth and it would be just fine. Uh, interestingly, even with all these optimizations, our passengers per week isn't touching where it was before, which is really disappointing. But, oh, look at this. That popped back up. This popped up, so that's great. Uh, let's see. Airport Sunset. So this is duplicative with some of the things happening with the, the, the monorail. So maybe that's part of the issue. <laughs> and we have a ton of vehicles. So I'm gonna take all these down. I like these subway trains. And we'll take it down and see if this will do the trick. I'm really curious about the speed. What is the underground train actually? Let's take a look at this. We'll just, we're gonna try everything out a little bit. Any interest in a farm sim? Uh, does Stardew Valley count? <laughs> Cause I love Stardew Valley. Uh, let's see. GeoGuessr. I'd never heard of it. Have I played GeoGuessr? High capacity. Cleveland isn't as bad as people say. I find that many places that people think just uh, across the board think are bad aren't that bad. In fact, they're kind of diamonds in the rough or, or, or doing pretty pretty well. Have some special things going on that people don't realize. And when I've, when I've spoken with Lee Hawkins about Cleveland, he said some very good things. Um... Let's see, Stardew Valley, yes. GeoGuessr. I gotta i I've gotta check that out. I've never heard of it. Land value. It's pretty high throughout the entire city. Uh, there are pockets like Myrtle Park that we have purposely not jacked the land value through the roof. Uh, then there's Banana Heights, where this is kind of a transitional area. We didn't really add a ton here. I think we have one park that we added. Gonna probably use the dog park over here to, to appease the Lewis Garden City, which is one of the most expensive areas in the entire city. I think the most expensive area is still down here. Right here, Kings Hills. Oh no, did it pass Kings Hills? Foggy Square at 91, that was it. So yeah, Foggy Square is, is the most expensive place, but you get really close over here and I would imagine that they would want something significant to to not be nimbies about Banana Heights. Even though Banana Heights is great. What's what's wrong with this area? I think it's it's nice. But uh, there would be certainly many, many concerns about it. Uh, Q-Sync. Have been watching the beginner's guide to starting a city and uh, become uh, become your comfort videos. Thank you for uploading. Thank you so much, Q-Sync. Uh, where's your oil district? <laughs> that's a yeah, that's Tutoria. <laughs> Wrong city. Uh, Birchard Gardens in Victoria is really nice. That was one of the things I looked at. In fact, that's one of the things I used to sell my wife on a, on a, on a trip there. Uh, go watch Geo Wizard after your pot roast. I will. <laughs> Uh, 6 a.m. Will, which means that it's getting late for me. <laughs> so we're good. Let's let's get through the rest of these transit lines to see if there's anything else that we should change. And then I'm probably gonna hop in the Discord for a little while. Let's see. Yeah, all of these are just terrible. So I think we're let's just gonna go with some of these S bonds and take these all down to a hundred. It's hard for me to even tell. I mean, this is this is wild. The number of riders that we're seeing. Hopefully, once we convert these back, we'll be able to tell a little bit better what should actually be there. Because it's really difficult to tell 
when we've jacked up the ridership so high on all or have so many vehicles on all of these lines to, to, to be able to serve 300 passengers, which, all right. So here's one that is looking a little more normal. So this is the college line. Oh, that's the S-Bahn. We just did that one. Uh, it's not even 11. That's earlier. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I, that is normally. Uh, that is earlier than I'm on Discord normally. Recently. Uh, so one of the reasons I haven't been on Discord as often recently is I've been uh, really struggling with uh, some of the builds. So the the the, milit the build I, I released today, uh, I really struggled with that one. Not not in terms of loading it, just totally outside of my comfort zone. Looked at so many military bases, could not you know take a look at them in street view you, you're not going to find pictures i don't want uh I, I, I don't want the fbi to come pounding through my door to tell me we know what you're up to you're casing out the military bases so it's been a it's been an interesting uh adventure <laughs> so that's that's i guess that's why i have nordvpn <laughs> and this is not a sponsored video so i just yeah you know. <laughs> Any hints for what's to come? Yeah, not this. So that's the reason why we have gone through and done some of this transit stuff is I was going to go ahead and do some of this in Tuesday's video, uh, but instead, instead, we are going to focus on this area here and get building downtown again. So I'm, I'm excited to do that. We're going to talk about why this area didn't develop or, or a plausible reason for why it didn't develop Because sometimes you'll see an area that just seems like it's so obvious and ripe for development and it just doesn't happen uh, Tom McCabe, thank you so much for the support. Uh, thank you for the great content CPP watching your videos and subscribe for a while now first stream Nice Scotty accent. Yes <laughs> Very nasally and I can't say bag I think I said that wrong. Bag? Bag. <laughs> downtown renewal. We we should redevelop portions of the downtown at some point, increasing the density down here, particularly where we've added high capacity transit. So I, I think that that would make a ton of sense. Uh, but this area right here, so I know that when we look at this, the land value, actually for undeveloped, I wonder what this is. Let's Let's make a neighborhood here right now. And if you guys want to influence Tuesday's video, flag, did I say flag right? Hello from Knoxville. Uh, Pine Heights, that's a terrible name for this area. So we're gonna make a couple of neighborhoods here. I wanna see what the value is. Well, you know, you know, we're not gonna do it like that. That's not right. So we want to make it, when we make a neighborhood, we're gonna make it based on our development pattern here. So this already is gonna be one neighborhood, but we have Robin Square here, which we'll rename. And I wanna see, what is the land value here? It's already 39, just by proximity to all the other development. So this would be super valuable land it, it, in reality. I said flag. <laughs> Hello from Florida. <laughs> Portland Lake Oswego Alright uh, Build that park up That is coming right after uh, Or concurrently One of the two I haven't decided yet I've been getting a little bit lengthy in the videos And I know that uh, Some people love that When I just like Lose track of time Some people hate it <laughs> <laughs> for me, I feel bad for Slayzilla because it means that he's got a lot more work to do. <laughs> so, and on Tuesday, it's not even Slayzilla, it's me. So you're going to get to see my editing, which will look much, 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 much worse than Slayzilla's. The other thing is he's working on some new assets that really are amazing. And I'm looking forward to, to him introducing those. But I, you know, my... Uh, that's, that's not something that I can do. So it's gonna be pretty bare bones because uh, my time is more limited than his is and I, uh, I'm i not as good at editing as he is, but it'll, it'll probably be in a longer video. So this is what we're gonna work on. 
Uh, and I do think, I think we're in a good spot. Let's, I know that someone earlier asked if we could zoom out and take a look at the whole city. Uh, should we look at this at night? Should we look at it? Maybe we could. So do you, if you guys ever wonder how I do my end of the city thing, I'll pop in. I'll say, ah, oh, this is, this right here, these two homes that look the same and are the same color, they're the very best. We'll pop in here, we'll come through here, we'll zoom out, and then I'll pop in here, and I do a couple of other wizardy things, and I'll set this to five, and this to you know, 20, and then we'll just play through, I'll slow it down, and pop in here, eight times, set it to oh, right about here. Say six at night and let's go. There we go and then we'll... Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I, feel, uh, I feel good about this. I can just do that on the fly now. So with that, I think that we're gonna take a, a couple of night views around. And I mean, that's, that's kind of what I do. I like doing that. So let's pop out of here and let's just take a look at the city a little bit. We'll stop it here at night and pop and take a look around the area before. Is there any place in the comments, drop it down now, is there any place that you guys would love to take a look at? Spaceport, it's been a long time. Oh, I agree. You know what? I wonder. We finished this stream with a rocket launch. That would be awesome. More detailing video in the club district, in the club, the clubs, the dam, your house. <laughs> I think we're gonna pass on 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 a uh, uh, seeing my house. <laughs> Let's take our speed back up. I'll get it to a hundred, and we will wait here, and I will read the comments until we launch off epic first person downtown we'll do that too we'll do it downtown oh let me pause this for a second as we grab onto here let's check this out get a nice view look at that this is definitely super exciting all the trains now or all the all the planes now <laughs> in the sky. i would imagine there'd be some sort of coordination between the uh, spaceport and the airport and you wouldn't have all this air traffic up there but <laughs> you know do it at night we could uh there we go there we go yeah that, that it's it's blinking a little bit i don't know what that is let's zoom out not deal with that but yeah you get the nice view of the city this way and let's let's go first person in the downtown, and then we'll end the stream. I am uh, very curious how this looks. It's very nice. So obviously a lot going on down here. I'll slow it way down. So one of the reasons I added speed slider at one point is you get in the downtown area, and there's so much activity. First of all, they walk way too fast. Uh, in the club, we can look at that Aussie man. Um, and things are just so fast. It's not, it doesn't look natural. And then it just, the FPS just plummets. So, all right, in the club. Here we are. Nice evening, 5 a.m. Someone's, it's gotta be 5 a.m. for someone here. Uh, Shane Ramsey, uh, as soon as you have SpaceX rocket, we need an Elon Musk neighborhood in that service area. He would probably just buy the entire area like he did in Texas. <laughs> Will, you always have your speed slider at 25 when recording. It's just so slow. Uh, was that a Lamborghini? Could have been. Whatever the vanilla Lamborghini is. Uh, the street, we've had we've had some, some cataclysmic things happen. We had the entirety of it. Oh, there's something happening. What's, what's happening down here? Oh, he's returning back. <laughs> so, good. you know, we had disasters on, the whole city didn't burn down. I'm gonna take that as a win. 
So uh, I think we're gonna end it here. We'll, uh, we'll we'll pop out, take a view, and I wanna whoa whoa where are we? Looking at the sky. There we are, back at the city. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. I, I really appreciate the the opportunity to stream with you. I don't take it for granted, and uh, I appreciate all of your support for everyone and and and, and, and uh, hanging out with me. Hello from Claire. Hello. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna be in the Discord for a few minutes. And uh, then I'm going to go to bed because I should go to bed at a reasonable hour. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and have a good night. Bye-bye.